to episode 177 of Insensitive Culture. As always, you know me. So what? You know my guy on the other end. And that fool blazer, Ramon. You know who we really miss, though? Hey, but we still... Insensitive Culture, the podcast. Make sure you check it out, homie. We'll be back soon, baby. Word. Maybe next week. Hopeful. We miss him. We do. We do. Yeah. Usually uh, uh, give us that little bit of seriousness that we need, mm-hmm. uh, or when we're too serious, he'll br- he'll reel us in. So, uh, Johnny, we miss you. Come back, come back to the show, damn it, Johnny, come back. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. How you feeling, bro? How you doing? Feeling good. Feeling good. Got, like I yeah. said, I got my prime my prime energy drink. Feeling mm-hmm. uh, well caffeinated. And nice. v- vodka, Who'd you, vodka-nated. Who'd you say that to? We just started. What are what? you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, no. What? Huh? Yeah, I didn't tell you that. We never talk. We don't really speak during podcasts. I know the rule. I don't make eye contact or message you directly unless no, we're I podcasting. I got it. Uh, absolutely. Sorry. I'll be better. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's okay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to get my buzz on right now. I had my little, uh, had my vape pen a little earlier. Ooh, okay. Smack, hit that a couple times. Oh, shit. Just to calm the nerves. What kind of vape pen is that? Uh, now I'm trying to get this buzz going, man. What kind of, what kind of vape pen? You uh, I, I think it's just ink, I think is the brand. Ink? Like a like printer ink? You're just puffing on a printer ink cartridge? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> you get the, the ink smear all over your face, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's no, nah, it's the brand. I've been doing little, little hits here and there on a pen, just to kind of uh, you know bring my anxiousness down a mm-hmm. little bit, a mm-hmm. little bit too. Uh, I've been you. getting too amped up lately, and I need to just relax, just so. tone it down, bring it back in, self medicate, baby. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's the and name of the that, game. That and a little bit of my drink, my little vodka. Oh, your Kool Aid, your adult Kool Aid burst. Yeah, that's mm. what it looks like. Right? Those were the best kind, like that color, that flavor, whatever that was. I don't. I was like some tropical, sort of blueberry. Tropical or tro- punch. It was a tropical punch. Yeah. Yeah, the blue one was a uh, tropical punch. Which is weird. Because the red ones usually, are always cherry. Yeah, usually punches are red though, except for Kool Aid. That's that's odd. Tropical. Though. Some but of the them, tropical, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I think it's tropical punch. Is the blue. But that yes, that was the best flavor. Everyone is uh, excited to hear about our favorite uh, Kool Aids. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but Burst, they all agree. They they know agree. Burst, bro. They're like, oh shit, Kool Aid Burst. And then there was the other like knockoff Kool Aid Burst. Mm-hmm. Who do you remember who made those or what those? You know what I'm talking about? Like they were they were whack. Like if you had those in your lunch, but like some other dude had a Kool Aid Burst, you were what, a bitch. like the the barrels. What were they? Like the barrel ones? No, no, the, they were um, they were shaped like Kool Aid bursts. Like it was the same mm. type of style bottle. They had the same like weird plastic tip that you had to bust off. I yeah, don't, I don't remember mm. what they were called, but yeah, they were. I want to say it was like it wasn't push ups or because push pops were like the sherbet ice cream. Yeah, Flintstone oh, ones. I miss those. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Oh, they're so gross, dude. That's so nasty. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, fuck, squeeze it. All my yeah. Homies when it fuck comes to Kool-Aid those juices, burst. when it comes to those juices, uh, I don't, I don't really fuck with anything other than the Kool Aid. That's facts. Why would you? Yeah, all the, you're better than I'm. Sh- my mom used to buy all that off-brand shit. Same. That's some of how the I drank them shits. Some of the off-brand shit tastes just as good as the uh as the the brand name stuff but some of it was just like way off that's why i like uh like rhett and link 
And they do like mm. the, you know, they oh, always yeah, taste they like the, the brands and they do like the comparisons. That you brought. I yeah. could watch that shit all fucking day, dude. <laughs> uh, you know what's the trend now? What? With, since we're talking about Kool-Aid is taking a vodka bottle. Uh, obviously, you want to do that with a good vodka bottle, kind of like a Tito's. Always. That's um, all I drink, son. Uh, you take one of those and you put in the Kool-Aid packet in there, shake it up and, and uh, toss that in the freezer. Uh, just to get it nice and ice cold, mm-hmm. and suppo- it's supposed to make the drink obviously taste like uh, out, like straight up s- like alcoholic Kool Aid syrup. Don't you need like sugar though? Like, because when you would make Kool Aid, like the packet was like flavoring, but like you still had to put mad cups of sugar in there to like make it sweet. I wonder, I wonder where the sweetness comes from, or if it's just not super sweet, which I would like because I hate fucking sweet ass bullshit like that. I don't think it's um, sweet. I don't know. I haven't seen them add the sugar. I think uh, alcohol has enough sugar on its own. Mm-hmm. So when you Bill mix Nye it in there, over it gets here. All, the, uh, all the flavors is yeah. in there. But I, that's all I've seen is throwing <laughs> packets in there. I'm going to fuck with it. I'll try it. I mean, I'm just going to get like a little bottle, like one of the little miniature bottles of Tito's, and I'll put a little bit of Kool-Aid in there, yeah, and we'll test it. I don't, don't want to waste the whole expensive. bottle of Tito's. On I mean, you don't sucks. have to waste the whole... <laughs> bottle Tito's, but you're gonna get the the uh, the mixture wrong. I'll you know, I'll just I'll tone it down for you know one and a half <laughs> ounces or whatever's in those tiny bottles. Uh, I would definitely waste the whole bottle of Tito's on that. I know you would. I keep hearing great shit, so I would trust the process. All right, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Let me know how how uh, how it goes on your end. I will. My tiny bottle. <laughs> Oh, man, bro. I went on a this past weekend, son. I normally I'm editing. I'm doing stuff. Dadding Uh, every time. Yeah. Every time I have some time off, I'm just taking the kid. I have to take the kids somewhere so they're not bored. Got to do that. That's what that's what life is. This weekend decided, yo, they can chill at home. (laughs) They can chill at home for a day or two. Go play outside. Go do something. Uh, Nah. We live in a complex, so um, if I let my kids play outside, they're essentially just like playing in a parking in, lot. Uh, yeah, in a yeah. parking lot. So no, I get it. nah, nah, ain't no play outside. So <laughs> no play outside. Uh, and I don't trust the world. I gotta watch them while we do it. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, Saturday, I'm like, nope, I, I'm gonna get some stuff done that I really need to get done, and this is what we're doing. Did that Sunday the. Uh, the in-laws took them uh, to the monster truck show. Oh, shit. Uh, so they were gone for a few hours. So, man, I was binging TV shows and Facts. got caught up on a couple things uh, that, yeah. you know, Real that we've quick. been talking yeah. about and shit. Very surprising. You were flying. You Normally, you don't watch stuff that quick. I know, you know, like you said, you, mm-hmm. always, you always have shit to do. So when you were like, yo, mm-hmm. I finished this shit, I was like, damn, the fuck you been doing over there? Where's your kids at? Is everything Okay. Yeah, in a span of like a week, I went through 1883, 1923, Twisted Metal, yeah. and uh, The Covenant. And The Covenant. <laughs> you threw a movie in there for good measure. You're like, yeah, I didn't watch enough shit. Let me, let me toss this in there. That was a good one, too. I did, I did have the kids watch The Little Mermaid. I didn't sit there and watch it with them, but I was like catching plans. The live action, parts. like the new new? Yeah, the live action mm-hmm. one, yeah. Yeah, they enjoyed that. I'm and sure it seemed like did. it was legit. Like, she, she sounded just like... The cartoon. Yeah. Good. She did. Yeah. Certain parts. I was like, damn, is that, is that actually hers? Is that actually you know? The chick? Damn. She sounds yeah. Good. But they, they do well with changing up the lyrics just enough or the, um, the tones, uh, that she hits and yeah. stuff. So they did, they did well enough so that it's not like bar for bar, everything that, that they say, but yeah. it was actually from what I saw, it was actually pretty dope. No doubt. What's her name? Uh, played a great Ursula. Melissa McCarthy. Uh, Melissa McCarthy. Yeah. There you go. Right on. She I can see that. I mean that. Yeah, that sounds. <laughs> that tracks. She well, could be. She could be scary and mean as hell for sure. She can. Uh, and, and honestly, uh, she sounded a lot like her. Uh, you know. Uh, obviously, you know she's she. Well, she's lost some weight, but. She's still a bigger girl. Uh, I saw her and I was like, oh, she's actually a prettier Ursula. 
Yeah, I remember Ursula just being very scary when I was a kid. Like, yeah, whenever yeah. I'd see the Little Mermaid, dude, that shit had me shook. <laughs> oh. Very mysterious. All right, let's get right into it. Question, question, question. Okay, I'm told this was user submitted originally as just a, a 1v1 matchup. Who's coming out on top? It was Homelander and Superman. Was that the original lock? That the you original, did? yes. Homelander versus Superman. Okay, and then we wanted to just twist it up a little bit, and we threw in Omni-Man for good measure. So three-way battle, Omni-Man, Homelander, Superman. Who's coming out on top? Uh, I feel like for... for I've been thinking about this and I I'm torn a little bit mm -hmm. because initially my thought is the ruthlessness of Homelander and Omni-Man give them an edge uh, because they are willing to go further than where, than where Superman would go for sure. But then my, uh, my knowledge of each hero kind of, through something like a wrench in that plan. Okay. Superman can't be penetrated. Pause. Uh, <laughs> he can't be penetrated unless you have kryptonite, right? So it's tougher to kill Superman unless they are prepared uh, and have kryptonite on hand. That's true. Whereas, like, I don't know if Omni-Man is susceptible to anything like that. Right. Yeah. Not that we, not that we so. know of, but then again, we're casual nerds. We haven't read mm -hmm. the, the, the comics comic books, or anything. Right. Yeah. We just seen the first season of invincible, just like all the other folks out sure. there. Sure. So yeah, we'll, we'll say um, no. We'll say as of right now, I mean, unless somebody lets us know otherwise, we'll pretend like he doesn't have a kryptonite. I, in this whole thing, I will say Omni man ends up on top. Why is Homelander is way too emotional. Mm -hmm. Even though he's powerful, his emotions will get the better of him and he will end up losing. That's, you know, the, and they would tear into him um, easily. Homelander, is he, is he part human, right? He just I had believe so. sold, soldier boy was his dad. And then he had like a, a natural mother, you know, woman that, yep. that birthed him with that sperm from well if you really think about it he's not an alien at all so he is human he's just a superhuman right yeah 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 you know you know what i mean yeah 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 but where that's that's where i'm saying where superman's edge is he's an alien mm -hmm. so uh you know you need kryptonite to to lower his powers down before you can actually make any kind of uh damage to him and since I don't know that about Omni-Man, if it came down to where they're both damn near indestructible, uh, Omni-Man is, is powerful enough to take him on, and he is ruthless enough to give him some sort of an edge, even though, you know, you can argue Zod did the same thing, but Zod was susceptible to the same, um, you know, stuff that... that Didn't him uh, and Superman Zod throw hands... Like just straight, they, like they were brawling at one point, right? Like just uh, uh, in the yeah, air too. Sure. Obviously, they were flying around. But I feel like Zod was sort of matching Superman, almost. Like, yeah, if you basically want to talk about the movie uh, Man of Steel, yeah, that's um, I was, that's part of what it. I really, was about. it really came down to uh, Zod. Uh, well, Superman having the upper hand on knowing how to adjust to Earth, right? And, you know, and what it, it what it meant and how it would affect Zod, who didn't do that homework or wasn't there as long as he was. Yeah. So he used that to his advantage. Uh, so he was smart enough on that. I just back to to the, the battle royal. I just think Omni-Man is smart enough to figure out what he needs in order to beat Superman because they're just going to be beating each other back and forth. So you think if it came uh, down to it, they're both pretty much same powers, indestructible. If Omni Man has that kryptonite, that's that's game over for Superman. And obviously, yeah, if he figures out the running. whole, 
he figures out the whole kryptonite and everything. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks because I, I didn't want to. I was hoping you were going to pick someone else other than Omni Man because I, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to agree with you. But I feel like after watching Omni Man basically destroy that, what was it? Like, it was like a city, right? He was flying through the buildings, fucking murdered everybody. Was it a whole planet he that he fucked just fucking. fucked up all the other superheroes and yeah, shit. It, well, no, that too at the beginning. Of oh, Invincible, you're talking. Yeah, he was just when he literally. Went, Yes. Beaten everyone on, yes. on that planet. Yes. And Homelander said that he couldn't land a plane. Like when, you know, when they were, him and Maeve were on the plane and, they, you know, shit was popping off in the first season there. He's pretty much, he's like, yeah, I can't, I can't do that. What are you talking about? These people are going to die. I can't fucking save them. Like right there, I kind of knew that Homelander was kind of bitch. Like obviously not on that Omni Man or Superman level because you know Superman would have landed that bitch if he had to. Like he wouldn't even. Yeah, Superman. Think twice well, about Superman has uh, has his uh, his good tendencies on his side. Or he's an actual hero. Morals so he aside, done everything. Yeah, there we go. Just his morals. Phys- physical physical strength. We're talking about here. I feel yeah. like Omni Man could definitely land that bitch. But yeah, I just. I don't know. Like you said, he's just tough. I don't know. Is it the mustache? Is it J.K. Simmons? Like, why is Omni Man such a fucking it was, badass? I mean, honestly, it was just if you haven't seen the first episode, or I'm sorry, the first season of Invincible. Yeah. Fucking spoiler alert! But he's just murking just everybody. A, a, he's murking a all the. Yeah. Yeah, he was just fucking everybody up, and then he started fucking up his son. So yeah. His own uh, son. What the fuck would he do to Superman if he'll beat his son's ass like that? He don't give a fuck about Superman. Nah. Yeah, he would fuck him up. He would kill him. Done. And that's a good point. He he has traveled to different planets basically to blow up every single one of those planets and demolish everything by he's hand. He's a straight up alien, too. Like, he's yeah. not from Earth. He's not human. Ventrum. No. Right. Shit. So. Fucking All right, to Omni-Man. Well, actually, just shout out to the new Mortal Kombat where we're going to be able to see at least Omni-Man and Homelander oh, go to yeah. town and fucking that's there's going to be some wild ass content out there when that DLC drops and they actually get to brawl. Fuck, mm-hmm. dude, that's going to be tight. That's going to be dope. September. I got to get my hands on a fucking PS5. Is, is that Mortal Kombat's not coming out on PS4 or you just don't, don't even know. want to fucking I, I'm assuming. I'm just yeah. assuming everything is coming it's out gonna, on it's PS5. Gonna, it's going to stop. Yeah, I mean, they're eventually going to stop, so might as yeah, well. For the most part, all the good games currently are, are screaming PS5. Yeah, that's fair. So, yeah. All right. I'll go fuck myself. Question number two. Sure. Do you find a fully naked woman sexier than like a woman in some lingerie or some sort of skimpy outfit like you know does it depend on the chick on the situation but just in general because i i've seen a bunch of arguments on different social medias about this and i was curious how you feel uh i think is is the question just which one is sexier to me yeah yeah, there's no right or wrong answer. Yeah, um, I would have to say lingerie. Oh, yeah. why is that? Uh, I mean, obviously, a, a naked woman is fucking amazing, right? Yeah, uh, sure. But there's something about the the lingerie, and like it holds everything up the right way. There's just a little bit of. A uh, a mystery mm-hmm. to it, even though you've seen it a million times. Mm-hmm. There's a little bit of a maybe mystery it to maybe it. It's, maybe it's a one night stand. Maybe it's a new chick. Yeah, it could be. It could, I'm just saying, like even even if you've seen your your girl naked a million times, like it right. just the way that something, it's something different. It like looks that, it, right. It accentuates the curves. Yeah, it adds just a little bit more to it. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think the lingerie adds a little bit more oomph to to that is the lingerie your favorite or is there like a costume or something that you would prefer like no, the, lingerie. The, the, the teacher with the ruler and the, the bun and the pencil skirt i mean that would be that would be cool but i think <laughs> the would lingerie, be, i wouldn't hate that i wouldn't be like no, no i wouldn't hate that i'm not I'm against it but I, I think the lingerie 
Sure. Um, I think it's just a little bit more on point. There's no, you, you don't have to role play or anything fucking like that. You know, <laughs> okay. Just if down to business, down to business. I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, you sure. know, when, with sure. one of those costumes, you know, they're going to role play a little bit and, and all yeah. that shit. Like, nah, let's just get right into the foreplay. Ooh. Okay. Jumping right yeah. in, diving right, right in, so to speak. But I, I will, again, I will reiterate that there that is if, nothing wrong. If, the, if, if there, if showed up and she's butt ass naked, butt ass naked. I love that too. But yeah, so, I would prefer the lingerie. When I was a kid, you like my, you know, my childhood fantasies after seeing, you know, nudity in an HBO movie or something like my sure. fantasy was always a naked lady. Yeah. For the longest yeah. time, I mean, it was you were just a like, kid. Oh, let's see a naked lady. Are there <laughs> naked ladies in this? It was all about the naked ladies. And then I feel like as I matured, mm-hmm. I, you know, you give a little bit more respect to the the skimpy lingerie or the, you know, the little skirt, the schoolgirl outfit. But I think sure. for my money, it doesn't get much better than like a nice, a nice thigh high, like a maybe a mm-hmm. tall sock or like some some stockings like that they just come kind of like right to almost under the booty son you know what i'm talking yeah, about yeah 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 mm-hmm. i get you he's like yep yep but then then there's a there's a caveat to that because regardless of what a chick's gonna wear for me odds are it's probably coming off really really quickly like i i yeah. tend to not leave that on which kind of feels like you know why go through all that like it's sexy for like two minutes until it's just off Mm. And then, uh, then I just feel bad. Like, you know, she, she was trying hard. I could have, maybe I should have left it on. Maybe I should have appreciated it more. Yeah. That's why you, uh, you know, when she's shopping, she should get the crotchless joints. Ah, so it can maintain the sexiness and you the, maintain it. Yep. The poundability. I mean, if you, if, if, uh, you've ever been with a girl who's had lingerie, you know that mm. they do the, the whole lacy link yeah, yeah, from yeah. the there's thigh no, high to no the panties under it though right no no but even if they do the panties yeah they how how is she going to take that off then you got to unsnap it Ooh. and you got to do all that shit Not in some, order to get some panties off. i'm ripping it so at that point yeah so it got to be so. uh strict strictly no panty or crossless mm-hmm. okay all right yep once again and yeah once again we are in full agree- <laughs> Johnny, what do you think Johnny likes? Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's so, answer for Johnny. Johnny, Johnny is a. Uh, I think he is uh, straightforward. He's not fully naked. Just show, get your yeah, ass show up naked. fully naked. Yep. <laughs> show up fully naked. And he says things like, "I'm gonna take you to Pound Town." I'm take you to Pound Town, girl. <laughs> All right. That's fair. That's you, Johnny's you, official you answer. I agree with that. Yes, a hundred percent. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, that ridiculousness. <laughs> so stupid. If you could have your brain wiped completely of mm. any TV show that you've watched, so that you can experience it for the first time all over again, is there a, a particular one that you think you would gravitate towards? Any TV show, in order to have that experience of watching it the first yes. for the first time yes. again, yes, something that where you're just so fucking blown away, you're like, damn. Because even when you, you know, obviously when you rewatch shit, like it's dope, it's nice to rewatch, but yeah, it doesn't hit like it does, you know, the first time. Everything's new. Yeah. Uh I would have to say Game of Thrones. Ooh, really? Why? Yeah. Why Game I, of Thrones? I really loved uh, Game of Thrones. And when it first came out, I remember every week, like being so into it. And, you know, the feeling of um, Joffrey, Joffrey's death. Uh, There's a lot of big payoffs, for sure. The Red Wedding, um, like just so many things that happen. Um, Even in uh, some people didn't like the last couple of seasons and and whatnot. But like, yeah, yeah. Aria's whole uh arc. experience. Yeah. 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 Her her whole arc. 
uh, you know, um, dealing with the man with no face or whatever his name was and uh, right, right, all right. of, yeah, all of that shit uh, was really dope to me. And I was looking forward to it every single week. For um, years. Every, I mean, that what spanned about a years. decade, right? Yes. Like, I feel like a long fucking time. Maybe not a whole yeah. decade, but like yeah, a yeah, long yeah. time, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and you know, because like the ones that come to mind. Oh, wait, wait. I just thought of another possible oh, one. But like the shit. ones that the ones that come to mind are, you know, like Breaking Bad, which was awesome every week, too. Yeah. But I caught up late. And the first season almost threw me off to the point where I was just like, uh, like it wasn't bad, but it almost just like didn't grab me. Really? Um, yeah. I mean, and, and then obviously it got like amazing. Yeah. Um, but, but, um, it just didn't have that same impact from, from the beginning that, uh, Game of Thrones did. Uh, and, um, before I give any other thoughts on uh on a uh second show sure <laughs> uh, what's it called a uh uh um honorable mention yeah, yeah yeah uh let us know what your show is oh well no i my show is the sopranos mm-hmm. and i know you didn't watch that because i've Figured been trying that. for a long time so i knew that wasn't going to be your answer so i knew i knew no. that was safe but yeah like the sopranos for me was a big deal like throughout mm. It was pretty much high school. Like it started, I think my, just before my freshman year of high school, the Sopranos mm-hmm. started. And like, even at that young age where like appointment TV really wasn't a thing for yeah. me. Like I didn't give a shit about things like that at that time. Like I wasn't watching new shit and, you know, waiting for shows, but the Sopranos, bro, like for some reason we had HBO and it was just like, it was, it was like must, must see TV yeah. and it lasted for a very long time. And although people hated the finale and, you know, there's all kinds of thoughts about it. That was, that was something that, uh, was, was special. And one of my honorable mentions was going to be breaking bad because that was, mm. that was very, very similar in the way that that was all. Cause I mean, it was, it, it was all great. And then, you know, the last mm-hmm. few episodes are always a hot topic for any show because you have your, fans opinions that are going to vary no matter what you're not going to please everybody with a finale for the most part sure sure uh now that i'm looking this up there's a couple on honorable mentions but um yeah what else what else you got yeah my main honorable mention uh that i was going to mention earlier is sons of anarchy oh yeah sons of anarchy was uh show i was drawn into that bro I saw um, the episode where Opie died. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw that on like my lunch break at, at when I was working at a factory, dude. Yeah. I came tough. back. I was like hurt. Like I lost like one of my good friends. One of your homies. You're like, <laughs> you had to like go home for the day. You're like, yo, I can't even. <laughs> yeah. I can't even. Facts, yo. Yeah. That was uh, one of the top shows that I would love to, uh, to watch like that and uh i just saw another oh and boardwalk empire mm. to mm-hmm. me was a uh, uh, hbo joint an amazing show the uh honorable mentions uh i would like to rewatch specifically the first season of westworld oh westworld yes yes and i mean i obviously i would take the whole thing because it got like i said like most of these shows they get a little dicey towards the end depending on you know your your views but i remember that first season of westworld Mm -hmm. um just being mind-blowing and not knowing what was you know what was real what was you know what was robotic who was what um and and watchmen another hbo series i feel like we're just going through HBO series right now, but Watchmen was another one. That I mean, they we were all sort of bugging out over. HBO has a long time uh, standing record of just producing quality, the best TV content. Yeah. Um, that's like out of uh, there's there are so many shows on um, on HBO that you could just uh, that if you watch the top 20 uh 
shows because uh, we'll go through that list later. But yeah. they, they released the top twenty um, HBO shows of all time. Damn. Yeah, so we can uh, we can go through that during that. Hollywood. Fuck. Uh, but yeah, it, it, just like going through that list, yeah. it's really hard to match that. You know. Fuck, man. They've been doing that shit for a long time, son. Severance, Apple TV Plus, shout out. That first season of Severance has been... Oh, yeah. And that even that one, that one kiss. took me a bit. Remember, yeah. it was like, I saw like two, three episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I stopped watching it after like the second episode. And you had to tell me like, son, you got to keep Just going, please, son. Please, please. Shit is getting crazy. <laughs> shit is right. <laughs> and once I got past oh. that, I was like, oh, shit, oh. you right, son. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know That's- what I found... Um, now we're going on kind of a Hollywood tangent, but you know what I found similar to that was right. the crowded room. App, oh. Another Apple TV plus show. Is, is that when, Tom Holland? Oh, that was the Tom Holland one. That was the Tom okay. Holland one. Uh, it's he even took a break from acting after he filmed that because, you know, and once you watch it, you, you understand why. Yeah. It, it just takes uh, <laughs> it, it's. He definitely did his thing on that show for okay. sure. Like you down. can see his acting chops come through. It's tough to see him in other roles outside of Spider Man because he's Spider Man. He's Spider Man, yeah. That's that's yeah. different for sure. Uh, but to see him in that complex of a role and like at first, what what was off putting? Same thing. Like I'm watching it, but my girl is into it. We even like a show would drop and we wouldn't run to it in the first you know few episodes. Yeah. Um, but we kind of wanted to know what was going on and how, how it was going to be spun. Um, because the whole premise is obviously that he has multiple personalities. Yeah. Uh, but when you go to watch it, it kind of feels like, you know, but you're, you're not supposed to know. Mm. And it feels weird, you okay. know, cause you, you're thinking like, I have a one up on this show. Like the show must not take itself seriously. Uh, because I, I already know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, but then things start to twist and the story starts to change a little bit. You get a little deeper into that, um, into that world. And that's when you're like, oh shit, like this is, it's deep. Damn. It's crazy. You okay. know? So they still uh, flip so. it on, you even though they let you think that you're smart for a couple episodes and then they're like, nah, you're not that smart. This is what's happening. Yeah, it's just a lot. And, and and then I found out that it's actually based on true events. Damn, that's even like weirder. a real case with a real person uh, who went through this in the 70s. I don't I don't know his name and stuff. Uh, his name is Danny something. But Danny something. Um, yeah, but but it's uh, because it's based on a true story that that just made it a little bit more interesting. Like, For oh, sure. shit, somebody was actually going through this. Right. That's yeah, that's different when you know it's even if it's based on a true story. Just yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's dope. Yeah. That's all you had? All, yeah, no, questions? that's it. No, that's it. All right, cool. You know what it's time for. News clips. All right, we're doing news clips, but really it's just reacting to what the world is talking about uh, nowadays. News, and um, one of the, uh, the craziest things, um, are you familiar with the Twitch streamer, um, Kai? Kai Kanai, or I think that's how you pronounce I've, it. I've definitely seen articles and stuff about him, like being referenced and whatnot. So I'm, I'm aware of him. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He's, I mean, he's blown up uh, in recent years because he's, ju- he's just a, he's like 22 or something like that. Young streamer. Damn. He's on yeah. um, Twitch and, uh, but he doesn't, he doesn't play video games or anything. He's just watching videos, a lot of reaction stuff, and uh, a lot of interviews. He does interviews with celebrities and whatnot. I mean, the kid is, like, one of the highest-paid streamers right now. Um, he has 4 million YouTube followers, over 5 million Instagram, 6.5 million on Twitch. So he's balling. He's Damn, yeah, those are yeah, he's insane big. numbers. Well, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, he is uh, – so, yeah, he's in a lot of trouble – uh, because, um, and actually he was arrested on, I think this happened on Sunday. 
he was arrested for in, in New York City for inciting a riot. So what he ended up doing was uh, he went on um, he went on a stream and he said that he felt like New Yorkers really deserve something like prizes and whatnot. Okay. So he told everyone to uh, to go to a certain location in New York City uh, because he was going to be giving away computers, PS5s. Uh, microphones, keyboards, webcams, like all kind of stuff, uh, gift cards. Um, oh, on he said he's going to load up a truck and go to Union Square. So he pretty much put it out there, said, hey, we're going to be at Union Square. Come over here. Uh, that spawned uh, thousands and thousands of people to show up at Union Square, like ridiculous amounts. Yeah. Where, and obviously... Um, that made everything impossible for people in New York City. It slowed down travel. Uh, it it says here, uh, I'm going to just read from here. It says, um, we went from 300 kids to a couple thousand of uh, a couple thousand kids in minutes. And um, the NYPD uh, started the whole thing off on a level. Oh, no, it says the crowd sparred. The NYPD to activate a level four response, its highest level of disaster, uh, just because they're all committing acts. Uh, you know, they started attacking the police. They started doing all kind of crazy, wild shit. Jesus. So he got arrested for that. What was the charge that they, you said that they gave him? Like, uh, what was the... Let me see if I can find an actual... Uh, it says, uh, public for safety reasons. He was, I think it was inciting a riot. Okay. I mean, technically it sounds like that's exactly what he did, right? Like he called thousands and thousands. Cause you said his following is insane. He just put this out to all of his millions and millions of millions, followers. Yeah. Hey, come here. There's going to be free shit. You know, people are going to show up. Mm-hmm there's not that kind of infrastructure in New York city to just handle that kind of crowd instantaneously. Like that seems, it seems dangerous to me. And the fact that these yeah. people started fucking up and attacking cops and like getting wild, like, yeah, that's, that's fucked. I mean, yeah. I mean, there, yeah, you can't be doing crazy shit like this. Nah, that's, I mean, I, I hope he was, you know, did I he mean, really have uh, shit. Like, was there a truck there with like electronics and shit? Like, did anybody? Yeah, get yeah, anything? no, he was. Yeah, he was legit. Okay. Um, he what what he explained was legit. Uh, but the thing is, with things like this, you can't just have people show up at a location when you have you know uh, uh, an audience that big. Yeah, because if you have an audience of millions of people, a lot of them have to be you know from from your city. If you live, if you're from New York. They, they are going to, you know, show up. So either way, you have to be responsible enough to uh, to set this up correctly. Now, I, again, I'm going off of just, just thinking if we were going to throw an event, what would be the safest way for us to throw that event, right? Uh, I don't know what steps he went to, uh, went through in order to, uh, to possibly make, you know, deescalate this or even try to. I'm just I, giving I him the benefit like, of the doubt. Yeah, I don't think he did anything. It doesn't sound like he did either. It, it doesn't sound like he took any of that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, but, would, we would get permits. Uh, but I'm not we sure. We would rent out a space. We would make sure that, the you know, everything was fucking. There's a line, like, you yeah, know, get in line orderly, at this time. Everyone's safe. I don't want anybody to, that would come see us to feel unsafe or be in a dangerous spot. Like, he a hundred percent what yeah. he did. Like, I don't think maybe, I don't think he should go to jail or anything, but like, he's got to know what he did was, was fucked and what was going to happen when he, you know, when he put that word out there, bro, like you're not stupid. Like, you know what you're doing. You're getting views. Maybe he didn't think he would get arrested or people would pop off against the cops, but come on. How dense, how dense yeah. could someone be to be like, Oh, I have, Playing dumb. What do you mean, inciting a riot officer? No, nah, he probably he probably just didn't care. He wanted to give some stuff out yeah. away. I mean, and do thought, a comment like, giveaway. A hey, like and comment. It. Use a random num number generator. We'll pick out some people and give some shit away. Like, no one has to get hurt. No one has to be in danger yeah, or shit. arrested. 
That was stupid yeah, and irresponsible was, on his part. It was. You just can't. You just can't do anything like that. I sound like so said, old and get the permits. You gotta get. <laughs> I mean, I think these, we are. These kids in their Times Square Union Square gatherings. I mean, it has nothing to do with kids because I know that there are plenty of people that mm-hmm. would just not think it through like that. Yeah. And think every little aspect that can go wrong. Um, again, I mean, he's a young dude and it's when we're, when we were young, you know, we're probably more likely to say, fuck, like, fuck it. I want to do this. Let's do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's a thought. That's a yeah. thought at that time. Man. Like I said, we're, that's, we're that's why we're old and, and we're old and curmudgeonly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, 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 it just sucks that he wanted to do something good. Yeah, I was saying into good intentions. Riot, but. But there's, you know, yeah. you got to be smart about it. That's all. Like, if you really have good intentions, you want people to be safe. You don't want anybody to get hurt. Like, you know, like, be smart. Like, does he have management? Like, a ma- I'm sure all that money, all those followers, he has to have somebody, you know, that's watching his back have and somebody. helping him out. Like, nobody stepped in and said, hey, dude, this is probably not the smartest idea you've ever had. No. Like, obviously, yeah. he has yes men around him that are, okay, whatever you want. You're paying my bills. Sure. Right. Let's do that. Oh, man. That's crazy, though. Thousands and thousands of people showed up. They really wanted them PS5s. I should have went. Should've. I was going to say, you just show up and try and get something. I know you're not stupid Damn enough it. to swing on a cop. Nah. <laughs> nah. I ain't doing all that. The second everything uh, would have started going left, I'd be like, oh, I got to get the fuck out That's of That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much what they said here. Influencers need to communicate with law enforcement before an event so that they can set up barriers and bring extra officers. Yeah, you just got to do that shit smart. Yeah, that's it. That's all. I like Talk to his, a few I like people in the city. Right. Talk to a few people in the city so that, you know, shit like this doesn't happen. There you go. Yeah. That's all. That way you're in line. Yeah. Just hand them shit. Just, yeah. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast would have had permits and shit. He would have had his shit done properly. <laughs> Mr. Beast is the beast, though. That's what I'm saying. That's why he's Mr. Beast. That's why he's Mr. Beast. All right, man. Um, fresh off of the press, your boy Tory Lanez got sentenced to 10 years in state Ooh, prison for shooting Megan. A the dime. Stallion. A dime, son. Does that seem excessive? It does. I mean, he was facing uh, 13 years. 13 I think years. It was the maximum, right? See, now now this is the thing, right? Why I don't feel bad for Tory Lanez is while he is going through this court case, he's out here wilding. Mm. He's getting in trouble with the law. Popping he's shit. Having fights. Yeah, popping shit. Yep. Like none of the things that someone should do when they are in the middle of a court case yep. that could put them away for possibly 15 years. Yeah. Oh, I don't feel bad for him. I just, it just seems like an excessive sentence for. Her. No, I know. Yeah, I know. So th- that's my, but that's my point yeah. is if he would not have gone that route, he may have gotten like something closer to five years. Yeah. You know, where it's not terrible. I think five years you could, you could be gone. Like two and a come half. Back good and behavior. Then, yeah. Uh, come back and still have a career. 10 years. You don't know what the state of the world oh, is going to be. Shit, at these, you know? this rate, five years would scare me. Son. <laughs> what are, I know, son. What's shit going to be popping like in five years? I don't want to go away at all. That's what I'm but, saying. But a dime. Uh, yeah. mm. I mean, but it, it, I mean, he asked for that. Yeah. He should have been a lot smarter about that. So when it comes down to it, Where? I mean, yo, we still figure out, figure out a way. We still want that music, though. Yeah, I'm straight. You oh. think you did it? No, no. I mean, you're not. You're not a fan. <laughs> no. You're not a fan. He right. could do his. He could do his bid. Just chill out. Nah. Uh, I want his music though. He needs to pull out some more music. Chick tapes are awesome. I don't know what that means. Yeah, you're not. You're not in tune. <laughs> that's why with, you miss uh, Johnny? That's why. That's why we need Johnny here. He gets those references that I don't. I don't know. It's just his his uh, his mixtapes. He was doing a lot of um, songs where he remixed like R and B songs and mm, okay. like OG R and B songs. Oh, I know you love your he OG R and B. 
Yeah, where he would remix them. Those, those were fire. Okay. Um, I like some of his music. He makes some good music. And the way shit is nowadays, he probably has a studio in jail. So <laughs> they got mad shit in jail. They're always wilding in jail. You think he did it though? Do you think he actually did it? Yeah, I mean, a I, lot of people are on the fence. Really? Just because? I, just because? I mean, just because they, you know, he won an, or or he lost the court case doesn't mean that that was correct. Sure. No, that's that's <laughs> fair. But in this, I'm gonna. I'm going to assume that there was competent jurors and they heard the <laughs> evidence and everything was good. It so. sounds like he fucking did that shit. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like he did that shit like a motherfucker and he's about to do 10 <laughs> yeah. years for it. So I hope, I hope he did it at least because he's about to do it the time. It was weird though, man. There was like a lot of conflicting stories and the wasn't the conflicting witness. enough to put his ass away for 10 years. I mean, but yeah, I, it doesn't matter if when you are out in the fucking world in the middle of your fucking court case, you're doing shit that makes you look guilty as a motherfucker. Hey, well, then that's on him, too. Got to be, yeah, be a grown ass adult. Handle your shit. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't. That's why I don't give a fuck about it. I don't uh, like, yo, bro, you need to you, you should have handled that a lot more uh, gracefully, mm. I guess. Just yeah. Yeah. Just stood your ass at home. Yep. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck. Where the fuck? Where's Jonathan Majors? Shutting the fuck up. Shutting the fuck up, right? Haven't heard anything except for positive things. No. Nope. Oh, he's dating Megan Good. Oh, word? Bro, okay. he's on house arrest until season two of Loki drops. <laughs> Yo, for, for sure. He can't go he can't do nowhere. Shit. Mm -mm. Right. Can you imagine if he's out here, like, even whether, regardless of whether he hit that young lady or not, if he was out here knocking out bouncers and shit at clubs and... Getting into be, these altercations when over. when the when the court case comes, you do you really think that he's gonna stand a chance? No, mm -hmm. that's why he's staying his ass low. He, he yep. got himself Megan Good. Yep, they he's, both chilling at his house. Yeah, there she's keeping his ass in. Like, <laughs> yeah, I bet you Disney sent her in. So I'd be like, yo, you need to fucking keep this man in check. She's for a Disney the next girl too, isn't months. she? Till this phase is over, you keep blowing this dude constantly. Yo, you, you just. Yo, you just uh, blew my mind. She's a Disney girl, isn't she? Pretty sure she is. Huh. What was my cousin Skeeter? Was that Nickelodeon? That was Nickelodeon, yeah. Okay. All right. I remember she was on. <laughs> I couldn't remember if she was, if she was on Disney. Because if my she was. Skeeter, that was the puppet, right? He has the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my cousin she's, Skeeter. <laughs> if she was an ex Disney girl, man, yeah. like you just you just uncovered a whole oh, new conspiracy yeah. theory. I'm gonna look into. We'll, we'll dive into this some more. I'll, <laughs> I'll look at her IMDb bio. We'll, mm, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Disney was just like, let's, let's throw the top tier. Yeah, the fixer. That's just, she's like, yeah. yeah. He's gonna be at this restaurant on this day. Right. You need to bump into each other. You need to the, bump the into the maitre d table. We know him. He is going to talk to you, and he's going to flirt. And you he might smack back. you around a little bit. You just need to eat it for the next twelve months. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll pay you handsomely. That's neither here nor there. Right. That may or may not happen, but in our eyes, just remember, it never happened. Never. Never at all. Oh, that would be so. That'd so fucked if that That'd ever came <laughs> I yeah. mean, worse things have happened, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> worse things have happened and we found out about it. Oh, that's rough. Facts. Oh, all right. You want to talk about this uh, this riot that happened mm -hmm. in Alabama? I, th I think it needs to be addressed for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right. For those of you who are living under a rock and are not aware of uh, the events that took down in Alabama, uh, there were a couple of white individuals who were on their, was it like a pontoon boat, right? Yeah, it was some sort of small craft. It wasn't like a yacht sure. or anything too fancy. Yeah. Yeah. They were uh, parked in a spot where, uh, you know, someone else had to come in and the security guard happened to be a black gentleman, came he up to him a, and told him, a, yo. He was a co-captain of... Mm. The, the actual boat that I think was supposed to dock there is what sure. that dude that what oh, that dude was okay. doing. Oh, okay. Is that there. what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he asked them uh, to move, and they came at him. They came at him sideways, okay, right? Yeah, for sure. 
very meanly. If you had the chart, if you had that chart, right? This is fuck around. This is find out. They sure. connected that dot. They sure did. They fucked around Real and they quick. found out. So, uh, so yeah, they approached him. They had some uh, not so nice words for the man. Oh, the man, I imagine uh, what those words were. <laughs> yeah, the man tossed his hat up, like saying, fuck this. Uh, <laughs> I love all the shit that's going on. Oh, it's uh, crazy. All the memes and it's everything. It's crazy. crazy. It's, it's the crazy. Internet does. Uh, so, yeah, so then it, it ended up, uh, he ended up being jumped by the the white guys. It's like two or three white dudes that, that came out. It was him. like four. Yeah. It was like four. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah four it got out of control quick. He was clearly real outnumbered. Real quick. But he was handling his shit still for four dudes he was. on one. He was. Uh, but then, you know, uh, there were there were a bunch of um, other individuals, uh, black individuals that were around mm-hmm. just witnessing this. And they said, nope. Yeah. We're not taking that shit. Mm-mm. And it turned out into it, it turned out being an all out like pretty much race brawl, right? Black yeah. people versus white people. The black people were and that coming to crazy. the rescue, and then I don't know I if it was it. all the same white crew because I'm I highly doubt that any white people that didn't know, you know, like the original white crew that like started the whole shit, like. I don't feel like white people get down like that where they're because I sure as fuck wouldn't have like you just because you see Bro, white Alabama, people fighting son. like you start a fight. You're going to handle your own shit as is, is how that I is Alabama, son. The second that I saw that it was Alabama, mm. I'm like, oh, OK. Uh, yeah, I've never been to Alabama. But if I if I were a betting man, I would assume that me as a minority I really have to watch, uh, you know, where I go, who mm-hmm. I'm speaking to, mm-hmm. check out, you know, check my uh, my surroundings at all time. Um, I'm sure it's not everyone there, but you know what? I would be very cautious. So the second that I saw it was Alabama. Oh, OK. I I, I knew exactly how that shit was going to go down before I even saw a punch thrown. Yeah. Uh, and then when the brawl happened. Yo, the one dude jumped from the fucking boat. That shit was hilarious because he ain't end up doing shit. Right. But he still <laughs> swam across still a swam. decent a decent amount to get to this other dock. To yeah, make no, sure respect. That, you know, like, so, no, props. Yeah, no. And he had all those crazy names that were getting thrown around. People were calling him <laughs> Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. <laughs> that was the fun. And then Scuba, Scuba Gooding Jr., was my other favorite. That was the best. That was my favorite name. And I saw probably yeah, good yeah, 50, yeah. 100 names or so. Uh, but like that fight and I, you know, we as different angles have been coming out over the past couple of days. People, you know, were inside of the boat that they were fighting in front of. People had different mm-hmm. positions on the dock and that shit just like it escalated really quickly to like just hands and we saw a dude coming in with chairs, just chair shot and everybody like it was fucking SummerSlam. It was fucking. Oh, I loved it. It I was loved watching. intense, bro. Yeah, we got songs watching. about it. I saw dudes getting tattoos of it. Mm-hmm. It's it's a legit fucking brawl, man. Like that it's was that was intense, right dude. Oh, it's yeah, it's it's going hard right now and it deservedly so. For those of you who have not seen this for whatever reason, just mm. look up Alabama Brawl. Alabama Brawl. And man. you will see everything uh, that you need to see. We don't have to pull it up. Uh, I'm sure everyone is uh, is brawled out. Oh, you had, you had <laughs> by, to have seen it. Yeah, by the time this yeah, drops, yeah. We'll, we will all be, yeah, it'll be old out, so. news. But the, the original, like, white crew that came at that co-captain there, mm-hmm. they... One of the dudes, or I don't know if it was a family-owned thing, they own a mini mart somewhere in the area, and people found out about it, and they mm. were, you know, review bombing it and talking all kinds of shit, and that was one of the original fears that they had was that their store was going to be affected by all this. They were worried that their their business was going to be affected by the the big racial brawl in Alabama, and it has. So good. Yeah. And then one of the dudes <laughs> yeah. that got his ass beat, I don't know if you saw the little like eight, 10 second video. It was a dude. He had t- like two black eyes all fucked up <laughs> yeah, and it yeah, was yeah. just something. Was along that real? The lines of, I- I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Cause I've seen it in, <laughs> in multiple spots from multiple sources. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, he was pretty much like, 
I should have found another dock or should have left it a little something, something like that where he's like, yeah, we, we fucked up. So that was, that was funny. And they even, they posted a picture of the, of the original people, like on their boat that, you know, mm-hmm. parked originally. Yeah. It was just like, you know, something that they must have posted to social media before everything popped off. And it was just, you know, a bunch of white people like posing with their drinks on a boat, smiling, you know, yeah. before shit just went South. Oh, so f- so funny so great oh uh, yeah honestly um i a lot of people are trying to defend uh them by saying dumb shit like you know everybody's uh you know talking about this or that but no one's mentioning the woman that got hit in the head with a chair she threw punches oh everyone yeah she tried to throw punches what are you doing in there get the she fuck fucked out. around she found out <sighs> That's well, one of my she got favorites. her ass so that, hit. That's what the tattoo was. It was it was the chair shot to that stupid fat bitch just getting laid the fuck out, and it was mm-hmm. like American traditional. Like it, <laughs> it looked really fucking dope. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'd fuck with it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I like it. I like it. People have to know. Uh, people have to know that you just can't do shit like that. You just can't. And. <sighs> All right, not to serious this out, but in all honesty, like in this situation, it's been going on all over the place where individuals feel like they are they are empowered to stand their ground for whatever reason in situations that pro- you probably should just be like, "Oh, yeah, my bad. Let me let me move that." You know? Yeah. But they feel empowered. They feel like a, 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 an entitlement uh, where they feel like, you know what? Who are you to take this away from me, right? And then it always it always ends up turning into a racial thing. Uh, but I'm seeing it more and more often. It could be the fact that social media is, you know, exists and, uh, and it didn't exist back in the day. So we only had an, an eye on whatever the media chose to cover. Uh, but... Yeah, it just seems like, uh, and I mentioned that in our group chat, it just seems like the fucking world is taking a couple steps back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it sucks, dude. Like, you know, but the good thing that came, uh, the, the good thing that came from it is the fact that uh, everyone stood their ground, whereas normally someone gets pounded on and no one stands up for them. It just, it's just a video how many times have we seen something recent, you know, similar to that where the the black man gets jumped or, you know, vice versa, you know, because it does happen sometimes. But let's just try to keep it civil. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas like somebody gets jumped like that and no one helps. Yeah, them. And that's just the video. Someone gets jumped. Yep. Yeah. And so and then and then everybody's talking about, well, where's the help? Why are yeah. you recording it? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, and it's just like, yo, uh. In, in this instance, they came together, and you can see what we what happens when we stand our ground together, right? Would you have gotten down on a brawl like that? Uh, <laughs> would I have gotten down on yeah. that? Uh, d- it's hard to say. It depends on the situation. Okay. Would I have jumped off of that ferry? And swam to over To go there? swim over there to help Probably them? Probably not. But if you were on Probably the other not. side, let's say, you didn't need to swim. Yeah, generally, no, I'm not, I'm not the type to just go straight for the, oh, there's an issue down here that I have yeah. no, nothing to do with and they're pot, you know, they're jumping them and shit. I would, uh, honestly, I would look around and see like, is anyone else helping? But <laughs> and then there's you a see, bunch of people, oh, so if everybody else is rushing, you'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, if I'm good. seeing a bunch of other people, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. So what if there. nobody's rushing in? Are you still like, Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'm a no, bitch, I so that's fine. <laughs> I get it. I get it. That's I'm only going to get into an altercation if I started to. it or it came to me. Yeah, that's fair. I that's, was going to ask you that question, son. What? What if you were right? This is going down. I know you're not jumping in to help anybody, right? This no, is what you said. Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. But you know what? You just happen to be like you're waiting on your boys that are, you know, on a different boat. Okay. And you waiting on that pier. They're like, yo, show up at this pier 
and you're down by the oh go down by the dock. We're almost there. Yeah. So you're down by this dock. This whole shit goes down, right? Yeah. And uh and and it's getting crazy and you just standing there, son, and you're observing this. Yeah. And now it's getting closer to you, right? But the whole shit happened where the black folks came in, they're jumping on uh, you know, it's an all out brawl, son, and yeah. it's just getting closer to you, son. You got nowhere to go. What you doing? I'm not jumping in the water. <laughs> That's for damn sure. I'm not gonna get caught on camera jumping in the water away from the fight. I'm gonna do my best to become a journalist and start documenting it. So I'm gonna pull out my phone, I'm gonna try and get video. I'll look for so a you safe might get space. Hurt, son. I'll look for a safe space to, yeah, yeah. to, to try and, You might you might get hurt, son. You're another white man I just mean, chilling on that dock. That's I, you'd be I like, get yo, it. I'm with y'all. I I'm get with y'all. I get, I'd flip my hat around backwards. I'd be like, yo, listen, we're, we're cool here. We don't have no problems. If there was a chair. I'd flip it around backwards and sit on it like they would, you know, like they would do are back you saying, in the day. Are you saying that these are black traits that <laughs> you try to <laughs> No, they're traits that with? let everyone else know that, hey, this dude is chill. He's not a threat. He's cool. <laughs> Don't fuck his shit up. Sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> just very, just yeah, to very see where neutral. Your head's at. Just yeah, I'm, I'm just calming everything down, trying to just, just diffuse just everything. Nice. Yeah. Come just on, man. It. Why you gonna go fuck all my shit like that, man? Come on. <laughs> Is that what you would be saying on the chair with your hat backwards? <laughs> but I'd be throwing my voice from like across. <laughs> it looked like it was coming from like across <laughs> the, the dock from another box. I was like, oh. He's got a good point. Just leave that dude alone. Just be, oh, be shit. <laughs> we haven't used drops in fucking three months, and all of a sudden, he's got the funniest fucking drop, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah. I see you there now. I see you no, there. I'm still. I don't care. I'll take a punch. I'm not, I'm not jumping off the dock. Can't do it. <laughs> You're not, you're not even going to try to talk your way out of it. You're like, yo, 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 I'm not with them. I'm there not was, with there them. was no talk. My man with the chair, he wasn't listening <sighs> yeah, no, to he anything. Was, he wasn't listening he to was shit. He was just handing out shots. <laughs> 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 Ain't no talking him down. Oh, uh, yo. My man, he was going in. Onk. I love all the, 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 the people with the folded chair chains. Oh yeah, the and earrings. I earrings. saw some folded, yeah, the folded chair earrings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where the fuck did they come up with all this shit already, son? Etsy's Etsy's quick with it, son. They don't it's like been like forty eight hours. Mm hmm. That's all it takes. Three D oh, printers that's... and shit. They were ready as they were watching it. They were three D printing them shits. Like, yep, this is gonna be it. Oh, I wish I had that kind of intuition, son. Mm hmm. Just to think, yo, how can I monetize this instantly? Make a make a song about it. Oh shit! I might make that T-shirt though. To just Word bitch to getting pod. cracked with the yeah with the chair, yeah. yeah just I an see. IC, IC, IC joint. <laughs> That'd be tight. I see now. Yeah. She's seen now. She never doing that again. Mm mm. Mm mm. Is that what they meant when they say "fuck around and find out"? I found out. I done found out. I done found out. Found out. F O U N T. I done found out. I done found out. <laughs> I done found out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, write that shit down. That's great. Uh, mm, piss break? The more angles keep coming off, too. The more the, the, the angles. It's great. I can't. Yeah, we could. I'm hoping for more. I just, I'm not sick of it yet. I'm not. I haven't had enough. <laughs> uh, before we uh, take a quick piss break, unless you have to go that bad, we can cover no. something like no. one quick thing. What do you got? Um, Dave Portnoy. Yes. He uh, That's fresh off the press too. Mm -hmm. He purchased 100% of Barstool from Penn National. Who he sold it to for like how many million a few years ago is that he made, he sold it for a, a decent amount of money, not all of it, but a decent amount, right? Like it was a good chunk. Of I don't think he sold. Barstool. Yeah. He sold a, a, a big chunk. Um, I think he sold the majority stake of it. Yeah. It was enough where he wasn't running shit anymore. Yeah. yeah where he wasn't running it anymore, but he was uh, an, an active employee for yep. them. He was like uh, a promoter, so, influencer type almost, like it sounds yeah, like yeah, what yeah, he yeah. was doing, right? Right. I don't know what the deal consisted of. Um, 
I know the original deal was for over a hundred million or some shit like was, that. Yeah, I remember um, it being yeah. a sick amount. Right. So I don't know. No details have come out uh, as to how much this was. Uh, but the dope thing that and why everyone is excited about this information is because it was owned by Penn National Gaming. Uh, they were, if you've noticed that uh, they were censored to an extent um, and they just couldn't do the type of content that they had done before that they, you know, that made them popular. They had to cancel and fire one of their employees, Barstool did, because mm. one of one of the dudes that was affiliated with Barstool or worked with Barstool in some capacity mm. um, said the N-word while ex- – accidentally while he was like reciting lyrics, he was rapping a song on like a mm. live stream or in one of his videos. And, you know, obviously it wasn't the biggest deal to Barstool. They knew the dude, they knew it wasn't, they said it was an accident, but because of, you know, the stockholders and how much Penn owned, you know, of them, they're like, yeah, yeah. we can't have this. We got to fire him. And they, yep. they just, I'm pretty sure they hired that dude back today after all. Oh, of I'm this, sure. All of I'm this sure. happened. So yeah, no, there was definitely an element of, of censorship and, and, you know, responsibility to stakeholders, you know, when you shareholders, Mm -hmm. when you have that kind of money involved. So that's, yeah, that's uh, the biggest reason why people are excited about it is Dave Portnoy is now the head of Barstool Sports, uh, you know, um, know, 100% in control. Yeah. He's hundred percent in control. Yeah. Um, And he just stated that he is that, that they're back. They're going back to the old rules, how they did shit, and he is not looking to sell Barstool. He said he will never sell Barstool. Uh, It's just ingrained in him, and he's going to pass that shit down to whoever fucking uh, inherits it down the road, but he is not looking to sell it. He will not sell it. Generational wealth. Yep, and he is is looking forward to... um, to just pulling, putting out the information or, or the episodes that or, or the content that they were hell bent on putting out yeah. before. I mean, so. that's huge, dude. Like that yeah. was their thing, dude. That's they were, you know, that was spo- mm-hmm. originally like sports and edginess. And then it got really tame after they had sold. And, you know, they were working with yep. gambling committees and licenses because they, you know, Barstool had a gambling app and I think they still have it. I don't know how that's going with all of this but well know, that they was just, the, they had a lot of people they were responsible to basically he was explaining that during that whole thing is that's why because he wanted to make something bigger with the gambling and everything mm-hmm. and that was the reason why he had to stick to those rules yeah. uh and you know and pen uh pen national had to stick to those rules because they were looking to get into these avenues but because he was still in the company um, there were some people who would not, uh, they didn't want to who would not them. fold because yeah. they didn't want to fuck with him. Right. So now he's just like, well, fuck all that shit. Yep. Fuck it. Then we're not doing that. Let's just, let's just move forward. Yeah. Uh, so that's great. No, that is great. So For hopefully Barstool. you're probably going to see more, more actual sports content and just wild content. Cause those barstool dudes can be can be wild and you could tell mm-hmm. if you followed them before the the buyout or you know before the the sale or merger what have you to sure. you know to after it's it's probably going to get crazy good yeah. look forward to it word yo barstool if you want to have uh three dope ass dudes that run this dope ass podcast <laughs> fucking with your shit i'm just saying uh-huh. i'm just saying hit that'd us be up tight. that'd be tight yeah we're not, uh, you know, we're not prostitutes, but we'll do a little something strange for the change. Facts. Big facts. <laughs> Where's that drop? Big facts. Especially, <laughs> do we have one that says big facts? Johnny does. We need one. Nah, he got that. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah. Especially the little white boy. The little white boy will do a lot of strange for some change. He's looking forward to buying out of Duncan. Oh, fuck yeah. Although I haven't had Duncan since I've been to California. Duncan's not really you know, very I, big I, out I, here. 
I don't understand why from the moment you said that, I never understood what like why Duncan, because Duncan sucks. No, I love Duncan, son. That's Duncan my, that's is my trash, comfort. son. Nah, Duncan's not trash. Duncan is trash. Those Basura. ice coffees, those ice coffees at Duncan, Ooh. I'll fuck with those all day, son. You're crazy. What do you fuck Robin. with? Starbucks? You're a Starbucks I guy? Do. I do. Oh, I drink Starbucks. Yeah. I'll bet you more of our listeners fuck with Duncan. And Starbucks. I'm sorry, guys. We love you, but you just have bad taste in coffee if you fuck with Duncan. Nah, it's this America <laughs> runs on Duncan, son. You know this. Yeah, that's a slogan. That's not. <laughs> that's that's a slogan. not. Doesn't make it the truth. That's not. Yeah, that's, that's not slogan. true. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but they do. America runs on Duncan. <laughs> uh I. I mean, I get it. Some people say that uh, Starbucks coffee is like uh, burnt. Yeah, I've heard I like acidic. that dark. I've heard acidic. Acidic. I don't know. I don't get that. But I do uh, cold brew, which is naturally uh, less acidic if you do cold it's true. brew. true. I do fuck with cold brew. So I fuck with the cold brew. Uh, but I like that dark taste of a coffee, and I drink my coffee black. When you drink your coffee black and you don't have all that other bullshit, you taste the you coffee, know coffee. when like You get to exactly. the root of it. Exactly. And I can't stand Dunkin' Donuts. I can't stand Tim Hortons. I can't stand a lot of coffee places because of that. Damn. Got some (sighs) problems you got to work through, son. I know, son. It's all right. I'm sorry. We all all got stuff we got to work on. I don't want the milk with a splash of coffee, son. (laughs) And not only that, but I've tried their food and shit, and their food always tastes like microwave. No, I mean, the food is mid. The donuts are all right. I'll fuck with that. I will admit, will The hash browns. The hash browns, fuck. I don't. I can't remember. Got the little circular, almost like Burger King style. It just has like a a weird taste to it. When it comes to Dunkin' and I've tried their food, yeah, there's something. There's an aftertaste to it that I'm just not a fan of. I think when it comes to their food, like their microwaved, warmed up food. What do you think Starbucks is doing? No, no, for sure, for sure. It is, it is, it is. But I'm saying that there's an aftertaste to. Duncan's food, so okay. I don't fuck with it. But the one thing that I do fuck with uh, Duncan's is the little, uh, like the stuffed bagel bites. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those do fuck. Yeah. They had those a new fuck. onion chive one before I left New York. That <sighs> See, I used those to are fuck yeah, with. yeah. Whatever the the one with the av- everything uh, Ooh, seasoning on yeah, it. Yeah, and the, that uh, one yeah, fucks. And the cream cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I will say that that fucks. I would get those and then just a large iced coffee and just be in heaven. When I take that first sip of that coffee, yeah. it's like heroin. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to you buying out a Dunkin'. Please give it to other people. Oh, I will. I'll uh. hand it out to the... <laughs> I'll hand it out in New York City. I'll say, everyone come down to this Duncan in Times Square, and I'll incite a riot and hand out bagel yeah. bites. Let me tell you now uh, that that is all Dave. That is not a, an insensitive culture uh, situation. So if you're looking for anyone to arrest in that, don't come to me or Johnny. But do. <laughs> but do. <laughs> but do. But do. I, all right, let's uh, take a quick All right. bathroom break, All right. and we'll be back. All right. All right, we're back. Uh, I guess now that we're back, I think that's all the news-related stuff that we uh, that we wanted to talk about, right? Facts. All right. Hollywood. 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 All right, so yeah, uh, earlier we were talking about the TV shows. It was one of your questions, and I mentioned that Variety had dropped a um, the top twenty uh, best HBO shows of all time. Mm-hmm. I could have sworn I saw it um, like an updated list, but oh, I think it's here. Oh, that one's 40 from IndieWire. Would you rather go through uh, IndieWire or um, or do you trust Variety uh, better? Oh, let's do Variety. Do Variety? Yeah. All right. Variety's list was from 2021, but a lot of people, uh, it, it just popped up on um, on socials as to what they're, you know, what, what, 
the list consisted of on the all-time top HBO shows of all time. So the one that I'm finding right now is from 2021. Uh, it may have not been from Variety, but fuck it, we'll go with it. Let's see if we agree with this list. So yeah. number 20, True Blood. Okay. I fucked with True Blood. Yeah, True same. Blood. It's kind of surprising that it was that that high up. Same with uh, <clears throat> this next one, True Detective is number 19. It had a lot of hit. I feel like there was hit or miss seasons for True Detective. It wasn't just banger, 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 banger. Like the first one with seasons. Woody Harrelson was was dope. Was it three seasons or was it, was it four? It was three or four. I don't remember. I just remember the first one being okay. good, and then none of them lived up to that first season for me. Uh, Let's see. First, uh, yeah, the first season was dope uh, for sure. Let me, I'm just trying to get to the episode side. Uh, Cause I could have sworn for some reason I was thinking it was four season, but you're right. Um, yeah, you're right. Uh, so season four is dropping at some point either mm, uh, this right. year, supposedly. Uh, so yeah, you're right. First season dope. Second season was garbage. Yeah. Um, I think they changed the, the style, like the direction style. I feel like everything um, switched up almost. Like it just seemed. Yeah, like it starred really Vince Vaughn and. Uh, Colin Farrell, right? Colin Farrell, yes. Yeah. Everything switched up, wasn't good. And then season three dropped with um, a Mahershala Ali, and they went back to the original style of directing, and, yeah. uh, and it was better. And it was better, yeah. So I guess, yeah. So I guess number 19. Um, I don't know. I still feel like it's kind of low on that list, but whatever. I got to see the other ones first um, before I make that call. Sure. Sure. Uh, Big Little Lies. I've never seen. That's number 18. I've never seen that either. Never watched that. Uh, it doesn't seem like a show that I would, that would interest me anyway. Um, Eastbound and Down, number 17. Okay. That's a, that was a fire show. I, I did love, I did love Eastbound and Down, but it was the same <laughs> yes. thing. It kind of got worse as it went on, got wonkier. Relompago Blanco. Yeah, Left Lomba Yeah, Blanco. you're right about that. Uh the Leftovers. Have you seen that? I did not watch that. No, I heard it was okay. I want to say I started it and didn't catch my attention. I'm not a fan of uh, Justin Thoreau. He's okay. He's grown on me. Honestly, since I watched the, uh, uh, the White House plumbers there, that show was, he was really good mm, at that. He was really funny. Uh, I started watching Mosquito Coast on Apple TV. Mm -hmm. And although that was pretty good, kind of dragged a little bit and I fell off. Okay. I don't even know if I finished the second season. It happens. But he's starring in that too. Uh, 15, Girls. Never heard of it. Girls, Ran that's the uh, that's the Lena Dunham show, I think. That was her. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I never, I never watched. That. I don't fuck with Lena Dunham, so that's probably I don't know too who Lena high. Dunham is. Uh, 20, 2012 to twenty seventeen. Yeah, no, it had a decent run. That was a nice run. Yeah. Never heard of it though. Uh, fourteen Watchmen. It's a little low. It's a little low. I think it's a little, a little bit low for the the con the quality of yeah. that. Yeah, but it's also just one season. Right, that's true. That dropped in twenty nineteen. Yeah, bro. Pre pre Pando. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because it dealt with a lot of the shit that the Pando brought out. Yeah. Uh, Thirteen Succession. Yeah, okay. I I feel like that's a little low for Succession. Just seems like it the way people talk about yeah, it. I've the never way, seen the it. The awards that it win. Like I I watched Succession or I watched rather. It's it's over now. But yeah, that seems that seems a little bit low. Seems a little low, but remember, this is of all time. Right. That's true. That's so true. We got a lot of years a lot to of cover other, still. <laughs> right, 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 right. Uh, 12, Silicon Valley. Okay. Fuck with that. Love me some Silicon Valley. I never really saw it. Saw a few oh, episodes here okay. and there. That was it. No, it's a good time. Funny. Um, 11, Oz. I Love remember Oz. my dad being really, really into Oz. Oz was Oz was tight. That was pre that was pre Sopranos. Honestly, that was one of the yep. might have been like the first HBO show to like hit hit. Ninety seven to two thousand three. Yeah. Sopranos it was, was that 99. and yeah. 
Uh, Boardwalk Empire, number 10. Okay. Fox with it. Midway, yeah. I loved Boardwalk. Loved, that was great. Loved Boardwalk. Yep. I thought that was great. And I love seeing, um, uh, what's his name? Steve Buscemi. Yeah. In a starring role like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's usually just, you know, the the, badass. that weirdo or supporting yeah. actor. In Adam Sandler movies. Yeah, yeah. But he can handle his shit, for real. <sighs> yeah, he could. Um, Sex in the City. Yeah, I mean that was number a, nine. That was a huge HBO show, and the you know women women loved that shit. It was massive. Women I, I can see that. that show. Top ten for sure. All right, number eight, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I mean, and ending aside, according to most fans, like you said, that's there were some fantastic moments in that show. Great production, decent mm-hmm. writing most of the way. Top ten Just for to sure. Be rushed at the end. Absolutely, but justified top ten. Uh, next one, I it's surprising because I feel like I would love this show, but I've never seen it, and it still runs. Curb your enthusiasm, mm. number seven. Yes, yes, very, very, very funny, very funny. Larry David's great. <laughs> I love your responses. Pretty, very funny, very, pretty, very, very funny. Pretty funny. That's what Larry David <laughs> would do on the show. But you don't get that reference because you didn't watch the show. I, I do not know. Not yet. I feel yeah. like I will. Yeah. Catch um, up at some point. The Wire, number six. I would have had it top five, but I can't be mad at six. It's close can't enough. Be. Yep. Oh, okay. I see where they're at with this fuckery uh, for number five. I've never seen it, but I don't know how it beat out The Wire. Um, insecure. I've never seen it either, but God damn, it beat out the wire. Yeah. Must be fucking good. This array must be amazing in Jesus. this show. Yeah, no, I'm not familiar. <sighs> yeah, not familiar either. Number four, Deadwood. Yes, Deadwood. Very I've good. I've never seen that either. Deadwood was, it was really good. What years did it run on there? What is it? 2004 to 2006. 2004 to 2006, they ended it abruptly without any closure to the season. And mm-hmm. then they gave it a movie, like within the last five years. To really? like, to like tie shit off with Timothy Oliphant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the, the normal, Ian McShane, I think was still, was still in it. I don't know. I don't remember if he died or not, but. It was a, they brought back, you know, everyone they could and did an actual HBO movie, which I didn't watch. I'm ashamed to say. And I loved Deadwood. I was sad that it ended. It just, I, something I never got around to. Hmm. Your boy, Jeffrey Jones was on that. Oh, my boy. (laughs) Fuck out of (laughs) here. Boy, Jeffrey Jones. Oh man. From this screenshot that they have on there is that the one kid from, um, well, it can't be. That's got to be Timothy Oliphant. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Timothy Oliphant because he looks mad young. Uh, young, young, young Timothy, Timothy Oliphant, Oliphant in the screenshot that I see. Yeah, young Timothy Oliphant kind of looks like the son from um, from Yellowstone, the one that married the the Casey? native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of looked like him. Okay. So I was like, "Oh, is that him?" But no, can't no, be. No. Uh, number three, six feet under. Yes, that is a hundred percent accurate. That show. Did you ever, you didn't, I'm guessing you didn't watch six feet under, uh, six feet under. I started watching. We, I think we got through the first season. I don't know why we stopped watching it. Uh, I think, I think cause we were watching, uh, that last season that, that aired of, uh, of Dexter. Mm, it was mm-hmm. like throwing us off or some shit. Yeah, two that. Michael C. Hall shows going simultaneously yeah, yeah, and it yeah. fucked you up. Yeah, and it fucked us up. <laughs> um, but I, I remember we started and I think I saw the first season uh, and it was good. Yeah. I don't know no, if it's... It was, it was to great. To me, I don't know if it was top five all good, the, but... All the way through. Yeah, nice. and no, I, I agree. I think that that's accurate. Okay. Um Second, number two, haven't seen it either. Heard a lot of good things. Don't know why it's this high on the list. Veep. Yeah, I've heard, I've never actually watched more than like. We don't watch anything that there. has to do with like ladies, huh? Um, 
<laughs> Julia Louis Dreyfus. Yeah, no, I mean, I love Julia Louis Dreyfus. I don't, I just there was a yeah. bunch of funny people in that show. The dude from Arrested Development, uh, Tony something or other, it was really really funny in that show. There was a, a decent cast, and they win a decent amount of awards on Veep too. So you know they're fucking. Hmm. Interesting. And number one is a show I've never even heard of. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Uh, Sopranos from 99 to 2007. Yeah. Number one. That's yeah. I mean, if that, if this, if that wasn't number one, I would have said, <laughs> fuck this whole list. It would have been fuck done. this whole list. Yep. Give me, give Everything me we just one. talked about negate it. It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it all. Yeah. No, that's, <laughs> that's accurate. I'm curious. Did the other list have Sopranos at number one too? Do you still have it there by chance? The uh, I just with? pulled it up. The indie. Um, it's pretty much. The indie What's wire the top one? three? Yeah, give me the top three of the indie. Top it's three. Not too inconvenient. Oh, they named a bunch of stuff in here. Nah, not at all. Oh, see, like their top 20 has like righteous gemstones in it. And Veep is number 12. Oh. I like this list already. It has sounded like. Uh, all right, top three. Uh, they're. <clears throat> You'll love this top three. Uh, Chernobyl oh, is number three. I forgot about Chernobyl. Yeah, this this was an, an older list, so I'll let it slide. Okay, I get that. That's, yeah, Chernobyl. I completely forgot about Chernobyl. No, this Chernobyl. is the newer list. I've watched that multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chernobyl, number three. Two, Sopranos. Okay. And one, What's The Wire. One? If it was going to be anything at number one, it would have to be the wire, or else I would say fuck this list too. <laughs> I agree with you. I w- I was like, as soon as I saw Sopranos at number two, I was like, oh shit, my son about to be vexed. And then no, I saw it was the wire. List. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I, I get. But that. this is that's, this is a much better list. Uh, because number four is Succession on this list. Larry Sanders okay. show number five. Larry, Larry Sanders. six. Yes. Yeah, uh, Band of Brothers, Watchmen, Leftovers. Is Arliss on there? Arliss was a very funny show that I used to watch when I was a kid. I would sneak I remember episodes Arliss. of Arliss. Yeah, Mr. Show with Bob and David. Bob and David, yeah. Uh, this is a top 40 list, so let's see if Arliss makes this list. And Arliss has to be on. on there. There's no way. If that or list East doesn't have Arliss on it, fuck that list. Game of Thrones, 33. Damn, that's a savage-ass list, bro. Right? <laughs> These indie mags, they don't they don't fucking play. Euphoria, number 34. True Detective, 35. Nah, son. <sighs> no R list. It listed Damn. Oz at number 39. Damn, they got Oz high. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that list. That's uh, a wild, that's a wild right. list. It is a wild list. Uh, let's see. They released a, uh, well, anything that has to do with the Fantastic Four um, casting is currently rumors. Nothing has been confirmed a- by official, Marvel. Right. Yep. But I, I, but I wanted to hear, I, I feel like this current list is the list legit. Yeah. With, with the castings that they've made, it mm-hmm. feels legit. It feels like a tight one. I get the I get those vibes too. Uh all right. So for those of you who who haven't heard, um the front runners for um let me see. I got I got to pull it up cuz so uh Vanessa Kirby and Joseph Quinn are the front runners for uh Sue uh, what Storm. Was her name again? Sue Storm. Sue Storm. Yep. And her brother um, what, what what's his name too? I'm blanking on the on these Is names. It Johnny something. Johnny, Johnny Storm. Johnny Storm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That was it. Mister Flame on himself. Flame on. Um. Yeah. Uh. So Vanessa Kirby, she's uh she's popular for um the Crown, which Johnny yeah. is a big fan of. Johnny is a big Crown <laughs> fan. Oddly enough, uh, Vanessa yeah, Kirby, the, 
The Crown. She was in the most recent Bond movies. Um, she's someone who, from from this, everything that she's tied to, um, has the acting chops to pull that off. And she has the look Mission for Impossible. sure. Mission Impossible movies, right? Did I say something? I thought I said Mission you Impossible. You said Bond. Bond. You I said thought Bond I said that. movies. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Fuck, I suck. Uh, and Joseph Quinn is, um, he's popular for pretty much Stranger Things. I'm sure he's been in some other uh, other movies since then. Other but British movies. He became popular yeah. recently for, yeah, he became popular for Stranger Things. Um, so was far, Eddie. I see that he was actually in uh, Les Miserables, uh, the TV show. Oh. Uh, Overlord. Les, Les Mis, um, that's what we say. Les Mis, yes. Uh, Game of Thrones, he was on Day- Game of Thrones. Briefly, right? Just uh, like a big it. part. It's I don't think it was anything crazy. Very briefly, yeah. No. One episode, it said. Yeah. I, I still think uh, but the, they, but they have the look Chris down. Chris Evans back for Johnny Storm. That was a good, that was a good casting. Chris Evans? I yeah. mean, they're doing the multiverse, so. Yeah, he was perfect for that. I really think so. I hope it's in Deadpool 3. I hope he's as <laughs> Johnny Storm and, <laughs> and Deadpool three. That would be, that would kill be amazing. Him. So that they can have a new Johnny Storm. Uh, uh let me see. Also, uh cousin from the bear. Uh, ah, Ebron something, 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 something. Was he as the thing? Did that? I thought uh, they e- just. I thought he was an Ebon un, Moss, unidentified role. They're thinking that he is going to play the thing. I don't think that's true. Not that that's the rumor, but I just I don't think that that rumor is true. That doesn't that doesn't seem like good casting to me. One? He doesn't seem like a thing. Hmm. I don't know. It rubs me the wrong way. I want him to be in it. I, I love that it. dude. I don't think he's the thing. But he is grumpy, yeah. so like I, yeah, I, 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 I could see it. We'll see, see how this goes. I can goes. see that too. Uh, yeah. I, well, either way, um, and I forgot the gentleman from um, uh, House of Dragons that is rumored uh to be, uh, Reed Richards. I am not a fan of that dude's look, but if you really take a look at the at the uh, at the comics. He gives a lot of Reed Richard vibes. Which dude from House of the Dragon? Um, uh, my internet's acting a fool right like now. Like the 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 bitch ass dude that was being uh, the pussy Matt the whole Smith, time? Prince. Prince oh, Damon. oh, Matt Smith. Oh, oh, okay. No, 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 no. I was thinking yeah, of yeah. the other dude. Never mind. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't mind Matt Smith. Matt Smith is okay. I wouldn't. Uh, be it's just a look, I think, for me. Yeah, no, he's a goofy looking dude, for sure. Yeah, uh, he he has he has a very menacing look. Where if he, he were, I wouldn't even be mad if he were, um, if he were. Uh, um, why am I blanking out on fucking names today? It's the Kool Aid. Swear, son. I'm gonna be like <laughs> Alzheimer's or some shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I'm gonna have Alzheimer's in the future or some shit. Uh, <laughs> if he was gonna be Doctor Doom, uh, I would understand. Because he's yeah, because Doctor Doom is menacing. Very much so. So, Massive. I don't know. I just feel like this this list uh, is uh, very on on point. I don't think there's anything wrong with this list. Matt Smith was also Doctor Who. I think too. So the the British audience would would eat that up. I'm sure they mm-hmm. love they love their Doctor Who. That's true. Yeah, he was on uh, Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Doctor. I've who. never. I mean, actually, I've watched the old old like original. I watched a few episodes and like hoping mm-hmm. I could get into it and be like a Doctor Who nerd, but it it didn't do anything for me. Yeah, I mean, it's a British show, so. I mean, I I still fuck with British shows. I I've never. Um, I've never seen one 
to really fuck with it. But I think like that language difference. Yeah. I know it's still English, but <laughs> that language, <laughs> that language barrier when you go to England no, is just, tough uh, right just, now. Just the accents and everything. Sure. Unless you got like to listen a Holmes. little bit closer. <laughs> yeah. Unless it's like Sherlock Holmes. Right. I want no parts of it, son. Yeah. Did you um, watch Sherlock? I watched some of it. I was say, that's a British show. You watched a British yeah, show, Yeah, Cumberbatch. My the Cumberbatch mm-hmm. uh, one I saw. Martin Freeman. Um, yeah. Yep, yep. Great uh, little program, as my grandpa would say. Great little program. <laughs> uh, my grandpa would just call me a bum and continue to watch Sanford and Son. Nice. Uh, let's see. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot came out and said that she's developing Wonder Woman 3 with James Gunn and Peter Safran. What are your thoughts on that, bro? Uh, I mean, Gal Gadot's a smoke show. So that's sure. always a positive for sure. Yeah. That's uh, all you care about. It helps. It helps. <laughs> it helps the medicine of another shitty Wonder okay. Woman movie go down a little bit. But I think okay. what's... Are you Best saying that it's, that it's uh, with because James it's all Gunn. women? No, because it's Wonder Woman. <laughs> uh, I like. I just like fucking with you. But no, uh, James Gunn is on board. If, J- if, J- sure. if James Gunn is on board, I feel like he could steer the ship, you know, the in the proper direction. This wouldn't be directed by Patty Jenkins, would it? The same chick that's been doing all the... Like, they cut her loose, right? This would be... Somebody of yeah. guns choosing or guns approval, right? Correct. You think? Yes. I mean, obviously, uh, they this is speculation. I mean, this hasn't even been confirmed this. by James Gunn. No, it has not. Just, uh, this, just by yeah. Gail. Right. I don't know. Um, I, I still think she's a good Wonder Woman, though. Like, when I picture Wonder Woman, that's what I think of. Like, I think of her. So, like, if they can make her fit in this new universe, like there's definitely worse chicks you could have as Wonder Woman for sure. I think she plays a good Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman movie, I remember fucking with it. Like Chris Pine was in that shit. It was pretty tight. 84 was weird. That's when shit started falling off the rails. And as long as Patty Jenkins doesn't have a hand in this new Wonder Woman, I'll let Mm -hmm. it ride. We'll see what's up. I'll tell you why I don't like this idea. While I agree with you that Gal Gadot was a good Wonder Woman, Mm -hmm. beautiful, uh, checks all the boxes um, as far as that goes. Uh, She did the role justice. But what I don't like from it is the same thing that um, I didn't like from the news other than Ezra Miller acting a fucking fool. Um, And, you know, uh, other than, than him com- or they act completely acting a fool, I didn't like uh, them, all the talk that had to do with c- recasting them as uh, the Flash moving forward. Why? Yeah. Because this is supposed to be reset. We're supposed to be focusing on a new future for DC, right? So because we're focusing on a new future for DC, why are we still keeping uh, Gal Gadot as... Uh, you know, as Wonder Woman. Why are we still entertaining another fucking Aquaman that's having nothing but production issues? I get it. You guys, you know, you agreed to it a long time ago. Cut your fucking losses because we are supposed to be uh, resetting the DC universe. Yeah. So now we have another person who is uh, being, you know, is coming back from uh, Zack Snyder's universe. And I don't like it because it's not giving me uh, full restoration vibes. Right. So then why did, so then why did we get rid of Henry Cavill? Because you wanted a younger Superman. Mm-hmm. You wanted a younger Superman, but Gal Gadot's going to stay as Wonder Woman. We're still going to see fucking what's his name as Aquaman. Like, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like the little things that are just, treading behind like and and getting woven into this new revamp uh but the things that we actually did love from the dc universe uh zack snyder's dc universe Mm -hmm. completely got rid of it 
and Gale was the even, only one in like the Flash, right? The movie that was supposed to reset the universe. She made the Wonder Woman had the only actual other like DC cameo, Aquaman. right? Aqu- uh, and Aqu- the the two that are supposed to stay because sure. Ben Affleck was supposed to be in there, right? And that was cut. At some point, because they're rebooting, there was a bunch of cuts. They're that rebooting, were made. but he also didn't want to be Batman anymore, so he wanted to uh, just cut cut its ties. That's his fault, then. Fuck him. <laughs> nah, I, which is fine. I get it. You, you I get it. One like if you're if you're resetting, you should reset. No cherry picking what gets reset and what doesn't. But we need to see if it ends up working. We're you know, we're just speculating here we don't we don't know how this is going to play out what james gunn is going to do i still um feel like we will see henry cavill especially with the uh with the casting of the new superman for superman legacy Mm -hmm. he just looks like a younger henry cavill it does maybe um i still feel like this is all going to lead up to kingdom come where superman is older and uh and that has the potential to still be played by Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. At that point. So yeah. uh, I, I think there is a bigger picture there, but there is. Uh, I don't we know. We can't see it. We're looking on a very small, minute level. We need to I just pull it back. At this point, at this point, when we are revamping the universe a, and we're doing everything from scratch, it's supposedly, why, why bringing back wonder like and then making a wonder woman three it's not even going to be revamped right yeah that's weird and we don't know like we said has this this hasn't been confirmed so we don't actually know what it's going to be if it's going to be a wonder woman three or not like this is all i'm just what was yeah i'm just going off of uh i'm going off of you know if this is true we trust in gun right do we still trust in gun I do trust in gun. I'm just I'm 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 sure everything in the end will make sense. Everything will work. Everything would be uh, dope. And it might not be perfect, but I. Nah, I'm still can't be. No, nothing ever is. Nothing's perfect. But let's see, let's see before we get upset, big guy. Well, uh, what do you mean, big guy, bro? What are you? <laughs> what are you, you fuck you talking about, bro? <laughs> Come fuck on, you man. About, bro. <laughs> Fuck all my shit for man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love that drop so much. <laughs> uh, you didn't expect me to bring that up at that point. Nah. That was great. That's perfect. That was great. Uh all right. So uh uh I w- w- you and I well you haven't finished it, but you will I did. be. Wait, what are we, what are we talking um, about? Twisted Metal. I finished Twisted Metal. I texted you. Oh, you finished? Twi- yes, yes, yes. You're right. You're right. You're right. You want to do some more Hollywood before we jump into that? Or or do you feel like that that is uh, got to be a spoiler segment? That's definitely uh, good. It's definitely got to be a spoiler segment. But if you have okay. more Hollywood that you want to talk about beforehand, I'm down with that too. Actually, no. I actually don't have anything else. Uh, Hollywood related. Wait, real quick. What about, we didn't talk about this last week and I was thinking about it afterward. The Loki Mm -hmm. season two trailer. Ooh. We never spoke on it, never mentioned it. And it looks fucking insane. It does look insane. Um, I'm, I I mean, I've been looking forward to Loki uh, for a grip son a we, grip we, we all have we all mm-hmm. have and it's been we were hoping that it was still going to move forward uh with all the Jonathan here. Major Isn't stuff like because October? Jonathan Majors is a big part of it right and it's moving forward so like they didn't re so he can't be getting recast right like that has to be confirmation oh, no, that's that going to be Jonathan Majors no he's he in. in the trailer too that's what I'm saying he's good yeah i mean they i wouldn't imagine that they were going to reshoot Everything that they did for Loki. Exactly. Uh, with a new actor. Our boy beat it. Uh, I, I think it's dope. It looks it looks really good. Season two looks really good. I like the jumping of uh, the multiverse to, to go, you know. Um, uh, let me see. Someone said, I saw 
a tweet or an, an X. I don't even know what the fuck they're called anymore. Um, somebody mm. said that <laughs> Deadpool is behind the events of Loki season two. I don't know how they I... made it make sense, but that would be fucking wild. It would be wild and it would uh, absolutely kind of make sense. Because he's going after the Fox universe and he's jumping, he's jumping universes, multiverses, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. he's, he's, um, uh, he's causing, I mean, well, no, everything went to shit. So he's able to jump the multiverse and nobody's going to be on him. TVA isn't going to be on him. No TVA. They're fucked up. I think that's another one of those things where they're, um, it's a possibility. I think they're jumping the gun a little bit. Yeah, sure. Uh, they are <laughs> doing what they did back in 2020 where there's a lot of expectation and then they're just going to let themselves down mm -hmm. when that does not end up being uh, the move. WandaVision style. Yeah, very, very much so. Mm. Um, yeah, good call. Good call. Bring it back down. Bring it back down to earth. Yeah, I don't I I don't think that that's going to be the case. Um here. I am going to pull up the trailer just cuz honestly I'm blanking on it. It's been so long oh, since I've seen it. Oh, my bad. I should have give you a heads up. No, nah, you're good. All right, let's let's do it. Obi Situation we wanted to run by you. Toby, yes. Wow. Wait to see you again. I love that dude, son. Yeah, oh, that looks amazing. That's what's been happening. Wow. Time slipping. Wait. Time's you know that? that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. yeah. Can you fix that? No. no. <laughs> it's impossible. Time slipping the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I pulled through time. Between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Okay. One way to find I mean, that was definitely Jonathan Majors. He's definitely not recast. We have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I just love his voice. It's so soothing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Almost sounds like he has a broken nose all the time. To save this place. Is this cracked? <laughs> Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. So where are they getting the the Deadpool vibes from? I don't know. I don't know. They're privy to something we're not. They're not privy to shit. They're just talking shit. Make the hard choice. Oh, that scary Miss Minutes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come on, you got it, Miss Jeff. Always have been. Always will be. Oh shit, son. Yeah, that looks fire. I thought it was spot on. October sixth, baby. Yeah, son. We're in for we're in for a ride. Some fucking. We're in for a lot of fucking for sure. A lot of fucking. Porno. Fucking. October sixth. That seems so fucking far away. No, um, but it's not. It's like tomorrow, basically. Yeah, I know. We're already in. August. Yeah. It's going to creep up on us. Mm -hmm. We're already more than halfway through the year. It's almost sure. 2024. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it looks it looks amazing. I don't see the ties to um, to Deadpool. That's why it'd be such a crazy about. call. If they called it like that. I'd be, yeah. <laughs> um, Wishful thinking. 
seems like a lot to be covered in six episodes. I'm not a fan sure. of the whole six episode bullshit. I mean, maybe they're hour, hour 20. Yeah. Uh, well, let's, let's hope. Obviously, they're not sharing any kind of uh, uh, run times right now. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for it. Uh, I think Loki season two is probably the only thing left in the MCU that has like a lot of promise to it. Uh, it you know, coming out yeah. th- this year. Absolutely. Cause what do we have left? We have Loki two, the Marvels. I don't know why the fuck they're doing an echo show. Um, that's right. Echo never, yeah, yeah, yeah. never understood that. Like why, why is this, why is that getting a spinoff? Mm-hmm. Um, but that's just lingering, lingering shit that came from the, uh, you know, the previous, the previous phase ideas yeah. and shit. So hopefully that gets corrected. But yeah, I'm not really too excited for those. The only thing I'm excited for really coming up that we know is confirmed is Deadpool. Yeah. Other than Loki. Yeah. Loki and Deadpool. Those are getting me by. Right. And they need to hurry up and start paying these fucking actors and writers so that they can get right back to fucking filming Deadpool. Taking their sweet ass fucking time. Sweet fucking not, time. Not a lot going on there. Oh, I'm just. I know. Just really chaps time. my ass. Wasted really time. And these people are starving out their families and shit. Facts. All right, man. Uh, that's that's all I really had for Hollywood. So let's get into, let's get into a little bit of M. spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. So uh, we are going to talk freely about the uh, TV series uh, Twisted Metal, and. Um, if you don't want to know what happens in Twisted Metal because you're looking forward to watching it, mm-hmm. this is the time for you to fall off. But if you uh, don't give a shit or you've already saw, you've already seen the entire uh, season that dropped all at once, yep. uh, then by all means, uh, have a conversation with us and let us know how you feel in the comments uh, if you're watching on YouTube or wherever the fuck. So, uh, but we appreciate you for staying this long. If you're falling off now, peace. We love you. Catch you next week. Uh, Mm -hmm. Twisted Metal. I did not expect much from this show. Uh, I, (laughs) we've talked about it on previous episodes where we're like, uh, Anthony Mackie. Yeah. uh, What is this? Like, how is this going to end up? Like, what is, uh, what is this show? What is this monstrosity going to be? Yes. Right. It's on Peacock. Peacock. Oh, everything. (laughs) Everything was going against this fucking yes. show. Let's let's yes. start off there. Previous, you know, game to TV or film adaptations, Anthony Mackie, Peacock, a fucking old played out game like Twisted Metal that no one's thought about in over 20 years. Hmm. Interesting choice for a series, Peacock. I mean, uh, I was looking up the games in the game. Uh, the latest game was like 2016. Yeah. 2015, Who knows? 2016. That's the thing. Nobody, nobody has been paying attention or caring. You had to look it up. You very had niche. to look it up. It was a very niche thing. Um, and it was, it was dope when it dropped. And you know what? It was one, it was one of like five games for PlayStation at the time too. So that helped. Sure. Uh, but you know what? After watching the, the show, uh, after watching the very first episode, mm-hmm. I was hooked. Uh, I really enjoyed the uh, I know some people. I saw some people who uh, their, their gripes were they they expected that it was going to be this dark, twisted show. Obviously, those people yeah. were not paying attention to what was going on. Uh, you know, when they came out with any kind of news for the show, it seemed like they were trying to, uh, go for dark twisted, but very light and comedy. Uh, and I mm-hmm. think that they nailed it, dude. They, nailed they, it. Bang. Bang. yeah. Bang. Uh, as, as good as this nailed show it. could be, I mean, I can, I can see a world where 
one hundred percent this like uh, a dark, twisted um, horror esque story arc could exist, uh, and this opens this opens the door for something like that down the road. Uh, yeah. Is what I was a telling somebody tooth, a sweet tooth prequel or something. You know, there's dark avenues for sure. Well, I'm just talking about take. like when they get to the point where they remake it. Yeah. Okay. Or or make it into a movie that has nothing to do with the show. Yeah. Um, where someone could take the uh, you know this premise of the show that they've cre- uh, that the show created right and uh, darken it up even more and get really twisted with it. Uh, but yeah. back to the show at hand. Uh, the the number one person that I was like, why why Anthony Mackie? I'm not a Ma- Anthony Mackie fan. Uh, by Same. any means, um, there are certain shit that he is just, all right, whatever. It's Anthony Mackie. Um, but as a, as a star, didn't, didn't know why he was the decision to do that. And I ended up loving him in this show. <laughs> Yo, He was delightful. Delightful. <laughs> yes. Couldn't yeah. have been more sarcastic, humorous. Emotion, like you know, he was pulling out all the stops for this role when he didn't have to go that hard. And if he didn't, maybe it wouldn't be the show that we're you know fucking with and mm-hmm. fawning over right now. But like him and Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine Nine, mm-hmm. and you said she was a voice mm-hmm. in Encanto. I forget who whose voice was she. Mirabelle, the the star. Yes, yes, she was like prominent. And she is, if you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, she was very like sort of emotionless, but still a great character. And this is just such a stark Mm -hmm. difference from that. And, you know, she was great. And then, you know, Will Arnett as Sweet Tooth, like the voice anyway, obviously Will Arnett was not the the actual body that they used for Sweet Tooth. It was, that was like a a wrestler. A A wrestler. His name is uh, Samoa. Samoa Joe or something like that. I think it was something. Yeah, that, that sounds, that sounds accurate. It was something like that. Yeah. But it, it was just unexpected, dude. Like you said, our expectations were super low. Um, I, I know I played the games when I was younger and I remember sweet tooth and a couple of the other racers, but like they built this Mm -hmm. whole, whole world around it. And it's so weird that right after the last of us hits, that this mm-hmm. comes out another video game to TV adaptation, which most people wouldn't have given a shot in hell, myself included. And it, it succeeded in my opinion. And even the rotten tomatoes, I sent you guys the, the critics and the audience scores and they were really, really good. Surprisingly good. Yeah. I was surprised when it, when just, it dropped. Yeah. Yeah. When it dropped, sure. um, I didn't know that, you know, that it was th- that uh, it was going to drop on that day. I uh, heard good, some good yeah. things. Um, didn't know we were getting all episodes at once, which in this case I loved because I binged the whole fucking mm-hmm. thing. Uh, half hour yeah. episodes, which was perfect for this style of uh, this style of yeah. show. Easily um, digestible. Like I said. It, it played a very, very fine line, right? Where it was rated M for mature. Mm. It was funny. Gore. Uh, a lot of gore. Um, yeah. Dark premise uh, at times. Yep. Uh, mm. And just kept everything being very lighthearted. I actually, I actually, uh, minus, you know, the, the sex scenes, there's no nudity, but there were scenes where they were obviously having sex. Um, fairly, but I was watching for not having any nudity. Yes. Yes. I was watching this around my kids (laughs) where they weren't paying attention to it. They were just paying attention to their tablets uh, obviously yeah. like on the sex things, I would try to, I would stop it just as I, cause I, you, you know, when it's about to pop off, uh, like I would stop yeah, it and sure. then just like save it for later. But, but, uh, but my kids, uh, they got a kick 
out of slash were scared of Sweet Tooth. <laughs> um, uh, and, you know, it's just like they, they hear the language. So that part I didn't give a shit about. But um, anyway, Sweet Tooth, the character Sweet Tooth those was one of the ones where I was uh, worried about, like, how are they going to portray this dude? Perfect. Fucking mm. psychopath. Yeah. Um, you know, neurotic. Completely out of his fucking mind. Yes, neurotic. Yep. Um yet they figured they figured out the way to make this psychopath uh actually be likable. Like you're yeah. scared of the Even dude. Even after he killed a he killed a fucking <laughs> dog. And I still was like, I fuck with Sweet Tooth. Like, that's never, that would never, ever happen. But somehow, I don't know if it was Will Arnett or or what it was. But, yeah, I still was rooting for Sweet Tooth because he was still, for the most part, helping out, you know, the protagonist, helping out Anthony Mackie and, mm-hmm. you know, his whole arc. And he his enemies were our enemies, so to speak. So, like, you still wanted yeah. him to, you know. To, to keep doing what he was doing. And Will Arnett is just a very funny, charming guy. So his voice alone, I feel like helped out Sweet Tooth a lot. It was the, the partnership between Will Arnett's voice and Samoa Joe's acting it out. Yeah. Cause he did perfect. Yeah, absolutely. The physicality of it too. It was all, it was all perfect. Like if I didn't tell Ash that that wasn't, you know, the actor wasn't doing the voice, like she would have had no, idea at all because it was it was so Facts. seamless the uh the the landscape of this world was on point the car chases uh just like that whole twisted metal premise worked yeah. so well uh that i was surprised that i didn't think that this could be um something that i would enjoy because they um, used it sparingly, like like with the clicker killing in The Last of Us, how, you know, the, the real fans, a lot of their gripes were that they wish there was more, you know, interactions with clickers because that was the game in Twisted Metal. You know, the literally the only game was driving around, shooting cars, trying to blow up the other cars. They put in just enough of that, of the cars mm-hmm. and, you know, the action along with what they needed to make a good fucking show. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it followed that same last of us formula where it had the foundation of it, but they built around it enough to make it a watchable, enjoyable show. And I feel like they did such a good fucking job. They did. It was great. Um, the, uh, I liked, um, remembering certain characters when they would pop up because we forget of course we played fucking twisted metal. Like you said, it was one yeah, of the only we remember games sweet available tooth. for the PlayStation. Yeah. Sweet tooth, but like roadkill when he came up and I saw the car, I was like, Oh shit. Uh, the episode was named roadkill. Yep. Um, and then he shows up <laughs> that, that part was actually pretty funny. He's like this dorky dude. Um, that, and that's, that's the, the real thing behind the show. That's great. Is like, you realize, okay, the world went to shit. And just like average people just became ruthless overnight and they'll show their averageness. <laughs> uh, and then all of a sudden just switch onto the ruthless and is great. Uh, yeah. The one that I was looking forward to uh, because he was my favorite in the game and they, and he was not on the show at all was Spectre. Uh, I wanted to see how they would do Spectre, but we still have room for season I was two. Say, yeah, they set that up real nice. That was another oh. thing at the end, setting up that season two with the big tournament and bringing in, you know, name dropping mm-hmm. in there, bro. Like that was perfect the way they did that. That was that was right. really and, impressive. But, but even even the way that the last episode started when yeah it, with um, that royale, like yeah, that battle royale, yeah, everybody, son. yeah. And fucking Sweet Tooth lit his head on fire and shit. Yep. Uh, so you got that yep. element too. <laughs> it was like I said, it was it was perfect. Like they hit the right marks, dude. Like props to Peacock, whoever was involved with that show, Anthony Mackey. It was great. I I was a real yeah. it was a real treat to watch. I'll probably rewatch it before you know the next season drops at some point because God knows it'll be a while. Honestly, uh, I was actually thinking about starting it up again. 
That's how much I enjoyed it, son. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I get it. I, I've been telling everybody, yo, watch Shout it from the rooftops. Yeah, watch Twisted Metal. The shit is fucking great. It's hilarious. Tight. Yeah. Did Danny watch it? Yeah, no, you, Danny, he is not. No, he, I don't not. even think he really knew uh, probably, that yeah, it was has out. No idea. Most people probably don't. Honestly, it Mm-mm. slipped under the radar. I feel like I saw it somewhere, and then I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna watch this. And then I told you guys, I was like, yeah, I watched the first episode or two and it was a lot better than you would expect yeah i so i the, i mean i had every intention of watching it because because we've been looking into it uh for quite some time but we just and didn't know when I it had, was dropping like there was not a lot of advertisement no. for it or you know it was all because we follow the sites that fucking keep us up to date on shit like that but for the most part most people i don't think even really fucking knew so definitely not. Uh, but no, if uh, yeah, if you're into this shit, um, if you if you love the game, and uh, or if you didn't love the game, I, I still suggest say, watching Ash, the show. Ash never played the game. She had no knowledge Enjoyed of it. the characters, nothing, and she fucked with all those episodes, bro. She was in a hundred percent. No, knowledge. I'm actually uh, I'm actually upset that I didn't watch this with Jillian because uh, she may have she may have enjoyed it. I feel uh, like she, based they, on what I know you guys fuck with, I feel like she would have enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just started watching it on my own because I'm like, you probably don't want to hey. watch a video game. I, w- I would have yeah. had to have talked her into I would have had to have talked talked her into it. It's like, oh, I really want to watch this this show about a video game that I used to. And she's probably going to be like, yeah. Eh. Yeah, so she would have got if but, you would have watched it with just her in the room. By the end of the episode, she would have been, she would have been on board. Facts, yeah, because every time she would, uh, she would be doing something, and she and because I was just binging it, <laughs> she would listen to something that was said, and she's like, "What are you watching? What is this? Mm-hmm. Like, what are you?" <laughs> that was it. That was her asking. She's like, "Babe, will you watch this with me? Can I watch this with you? Can you?" <laughs> Let me in on this. And you're just like, oh, never mind, but it's great. And you just kept watching your shit, binge the fuck out of it, which she was trying to get down. No, she started, uh, what show was it? <laughs> no, she did both the 1883 and 1923. Without I was going to say, yeah, no, she definitely did both of those. And you had to fucking sprint your ass through them. Yep. She did those two. And what's the one that she's watching now? Um, also, Timothy Oliphant, uh, was the Justified? older show that he was on, Justified. She's watch. She started watching. I Justified gotta watch that now. That's me. my. That's my next shit. Yeah, she started watching that without me, so I I like catch episodes here and there, and she's just continuing on without me. So I'm in the same boat. Um, Did you watch she's just, Old Justified? No. Oh, okay. So you don't even know. So she's no, she's running huge, through like, the old it. one and watching the new season at Damn. the same time. <laughs> she's feeling Timothy because the because the new because right the new season because the new season is weekly is episodic at the at the moment. Uh, but she never she had never seen the old one, and I put her on. I'm like, this is you know that there was an old show, this, yeah. and this is just a new version of this. Put her on show Dead, with the same. Deadwood, son. Fuck her shit all up. Yeah. Well, I want to see Deadwood. I say, so. yeah, that's y'all should both watch that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now that uh 1923 is done, we're just Yeah, now that we have we our old western shows are we got nothing left to watch. It's yeah, just nothing I've left been watching watch. YouTube videos about the Wild West now that those are done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got nothing else left. Uh 1923 was pretty good. I think I liked 1883 a little bit better. Yeah, um, I did too. Just because we haven't gotten to the meat and potatoes of right. 1923 because there's another season coming. Yeah, at some Whereas point. 1883, you just know this is this was from they're trying to get from point A to point B, that's it. Yep. That's the that's the season. <clears throat> yeah. I uh I did see Ninja Turtles. <clears throat> that was awesome. Jealous, jealous. Um, that's, I'm not going to spoil anything on that. Cause you haven't seen it. I have not. You have not. Uh, but I will say that it is definitely worth watching. Uh, it's awesome. Freaking New York vibes throughout the whole thing from the soundtrack 
to um, there's a lot of they paid a lot of uh, homage to the old Turtles movies. Um, I loved that they picked teenagers to be the Turtles Mm -hmm. uh, because it just there were certain just characteristics that made a shit ton of sense because they are teenagers and nothing that we've seen have really turtles. Yeah. They've never correct, but they've always, yeah, they've always been older. Yeah. Like it felt like they were older. character wise voice told. Yeah. Yep. They didn't do, um, like Raphael wasn't, uh, he's, you know, he's normally like the angry turtle. That's just like, like they make fun of the rage, but these, but these, uh, the, because they're kids, they're actually teenagers. Um, they work better together as a team, and they they behave like teenagers. So they're making fun of each other, and, <laughs> and it wasn't like that that power struggle all the yeah. time. Um, they had jokes and verbiage that teenagers would have now, um, you know, and and uh, it's just it, it the jokes. Like I understood the teenage versions uh, of the jokes that the kids, how the kids are talking now and shit. I understood the references to the shit that they paid homage to. Uh, obviously, just because uh, they did it right. Fucking the one thing that I didn't like from well, there was a ton of shit that I didn't like from the last time they they did a live action uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But like Master Splinter, they took a, a new spin on Master Splinter. Uh, he's voiced by Jackie Chan. I was going to say, wasn't the other one Tony Shaloub? Like the one yes. before, like the actual, like the Michael Bay movies and shit. Yep. Were like, yep. Yeah. Uh, Master Splinter, fucking, uh, or, or uh, Jackie Chan is Master Splinter. Mm-hmm. Loved it. It was, uh, they, they did them, they did completely different from what we're used to, but it worked. And it was great. And it was funny. Definitely saying, watch this movie. Uh, it's, it's just, yeah, I haven't seen a good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or, uh, I haven't seen a movie, uh, a TMNT movie this good since the OG ones. That's word. First two, right? Third one sucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> He's like, of course, obviously. Duh. Turtles in Time was on par with the first. Oh yeah. That's the goat. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Only I would argue that it's probably better than the first movie. But not the second? No. Secret, Secret of the, the Ooze was your shit? Is, yeah, that's the main one right there. That's the top. Because of the cheesy the pizza tier. at the beginning? You yes, son of yes. a bitch. Yep, yep. I know. Listen, I stand, my, I stand my ground on that. I still feel like part two was the better one. Maybe now as an lighter. adult, I can see. Lighter. Now as an adult, I can I, I can see the uh, the greatness of the first one. But as yeah. a kid, I always thought the second one was better. But yes, yeah, it was more it was directed lighter. towards kids. Yeah, they yeah, wanted yeah, it was that. Lighter. That was the I mean, fed into their bullshit walk. Not not your fucking uh, you know, ten year old curmudgeon ass where you're just like, no, nope, this isn't my Ninja this Turtles. Is not, this is not my Ninja Turtles. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> Why are they using fucking salamis and not nunchucks? What the fuck is happening here? Am I stupid? Don't treat me like that. It's because they were in a butcher shop, Dave. Mm -hmm. Fuck. You would have too. Why were they in a butcher shop? If you had no nunchucks, you would have used sausage links. If I had to, yeah. But they didn't have to. They could have given them nunchucks. That's horse shit. (laughs) The studio's notes. Don't play that. Uh, I love part two so much. No, I do too. Um, I yeah, really love uh, Secret that's... of the Use. <laughs> no, that's uh, that's all I really got to say about it, though. That's all I have to say about that. That's all I got to say about that. You have anything <laughs> else to add to this stellar, stellar conversation? Nah, man. We we covered all the all the goodies. We Gucci, son. Word. All right. So you know what that means. Guys, thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. If you made it this far into the episode, then you love us. You really love us. Uh, Remember to rate, review, subscribe to the podcast wherever you are listening slash watching. 
Uh, we really appreciate when you do that. Uh, let us know what you liked about the show, what you didn't like about the show. Comment on our socials. It's at insensitive culture all around, all around. No one else has that name, but us. Um, remember, uh, if you wanted to cop some gear, some merch and support the pod, go to insensitive merch dot com stay drippy with drippy all right other than that guys we love you peace